he comes back. Hello and welcome to Team Fortress TV. You're here for the grand final of TFTV Invitational number four, the preview to season 19. Uh, we've been casting all day back and forth action on stream one. Uh, and we're finally here after the dust has settled with the top two seeds from the beginning of the tournament. Who would have predicted it? Um, main call TF. Ips and War's team, War is missing in action, he is at work, so Mike will be representing them on Demo Man. Uh, and on the other side we've got BK, Zebasai, Swedish and Finnish All-Star team, with new edition AMS on Pocket Soldier. Um, I am joined by Stark right now, because uh, Kadus is not good at timekeeping. He may be back at 9 CET, because that's when the match is starting, or he may just be never never to be seen of again. So I have Stark with me. Stark. Nice. Hello. Pleasure to be here. Welcome. And in answer to your question just before we went live, yes you will be dropped like an ugly baby if Cadus <laughs> turns up. Right. So I've not actually seen any main call TF games today. You seem to have covered them all on TFTV one. Yes. It's so, been pretty comfortable. I've not actually seen how well yeah. they've been playing. Um, they've not been playing particularly well, but like in each match against BK and against um, GG, well played. They have like a bit of a struggle, and then they just kind of dominate. You know, like I guess that kind of epsilon style. You know, I guess where their first few rounds are a bit shaky, they maybe lose a couple, go behind. Yeah, then once so, yeah, you know, they're sort of old. You know, one team will start with good mids, then as soon as um, main call TF figure out the counter to those mids. If the other team don't have any risk, like counter to the counter. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Uh, how well has Mike been playing? He's been playing okay. He's been hitting stuff. He's been going slightly, maybe slightly further forward than Warwood. You know, a little bit more direct. Yeah. Um. So obviously they've just been kind of Mike do his own thing. Ips just kind of adapts around him, but it's been pretty comfortable. Like Mike is, he's a prem demo. He can handle. This really. There's a few times you see him get caught out, but then that happens to most demo men, to be honest. Really. Yeah. In in the BK game, I saw uh, you may you may have a bit more insight than me because you actually did you actually cast BK versus main, main call earlier. Well, in the in the BK game, I saw it was Rib just dominating the mid fights, at least versus Phoenix. I'm not sure if it will be the case versus main call. But he looked very comfy in the ones I saw. Yeah. I don't know. Obviously, Rib's a bit of like a different kettle of fish. It's using an expression that no one outside of England will understand. <laughs> um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. Rib, I think, will have an advantage. Obviously, it depends on the map picks. It's main goal, uh, .tf's map pick to begin with, and then loser's pick from that point. Um, and I assume they pick bad ones? Yes. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Or it might just be the problem is this for just for default. Also, yeah. it's seven two, which means on the scoreboard, which means it's just not been changed since the last time it was used by the four for four twenty five game against BK. So it might be Badlands, it might not. We're still waiting on people on the server. Guess who's back? Cadus. Cadus says you can do it if you're down for it, though. No, I wouldn't take away Cadus from the viewers. I started, I couldn't, favorite. couldn't push you out though. <laughs> God. This is the most polite two English people have ever been to each other in TF2. <laughs> I have a feeling there's going to be drilling going on behind me while I do this, so that's why I'm kind of happy to bow out. But uh, if you guys are happy to hear drilling as well as my voice, then I can jump right in. Shout in stream chat if you're well up for some drilling. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't suppose you have any news on the map picks, Me? Hey dog. Yeah. Um, no, the map picks were not uh, in my car, so <laughs> having just driven home, I could safely not, say I did not know the maps. Was it radio station while you were driving back? <laughs> no, TalkSport was only covering Premier League fixtures today. <laughs> oh, no one-day cups. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I do have some news. We have some more keys to give away on Twitter. If you want to win some of these keys, you need to tweet... Um, team at Team Fortress TV with a prediction like a score and the winner who that score will be to uh, for each map 
I think we have a key per map, and there's also a bonus key for total drop. I presume a lot among the three maps all put together, a total drop figure. Uh, so obviously this will this will include crits, freak drops. Any drop that shows on the log is a drop, and it will be counted towards the final tally. So if you want to earn yourself potentially an extra key, uh, get your predictions in. Uh, remember you can do that for each map, so don't be don't be shy with your predictions. Get involved, win some keys, get some loot. I think they're now 11 on as well. So should we do our predictions? K Dog. Um, I'm not sure what map. I presume it's Badlands, just because they're on Badlands. But that could be a jump, a jump of conclusions. Um, wait, what? Sorry, I'm trying to get an STV. Okay. Uh, prediction scoreline. Um, I map reckon it is gonna go to main call dot tf, and without knowing the map, I'm gonna guess. Are they just playing Badlands because that's where they're on now? Or... Maybe. It's unconfirmed. Okay. If it's Badlands, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a eight three two main call dot tf. Okay. It's gonna start out. In fact, this is this is my prediction for whatever map it is. It's going to start out pretty much like we saw earlier, where BK take an early lead, and then main call TF are going to stop getting mad at each other and yelling. Well, they are they are going to get mad at each other, should I say? And then they're going to start playing good and win. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty. That's pretty much what I said earlier. Just yeah, uh, I think BK will capitalise from a shaky start, but once main call TF get going, uh, no one's been able to stop them so far. And I don't think BK, at this sort of early stage into their new team, will be anything to stop yeah. them. I feel like main call need 5 or 10 minutes to forget they're playing a match, and then they start playing TF2. Like, I don't know, <laughs> their match, the way they play matches so far from what I've seen is like way more like stressed and tentative to how they play uh, PCWs. So it's like, if they can just like get in and not lose rounds in the first 5 or 10 minutes and just get comfortable, then they're probably going to be fine. But if BK want to stand in chance, they need to hit him like really hard and really fast. Right. I just want to clarify something. Um, when I talked about drops earlier, I got it wrong. You actually predict for drops, uh, the total drops for each map. I think that's what Sim wants. Total drops for each map, as well as the scoreline. Drops as in Uber drops. Uber drops, no. So not... both medics collectively... I presume that's what he means. Okay, well, it's going to be an even number because if Mirren drops, then Knutson's got to even things up. And Knutson doesn't drop for any other reason. Mm. So everyone should just be voting even numbers. Even numbers. I know, what was it earlier? Merlin dropped like everything. He dropped for three. A, for, yeah. That's everything. Yeah, Knutson would have dropped three, but he didn't have Uber often enough to. Uh... <laughs> to drop them at the same time, so he just died in a comical way instead. But no. That's an is the most comical player in TF2. What's going on though? Like, just sitting on the server talking and stuff. The map clearly needs restarting, even if they are playing this map. Can they just tell us what's going on, man? Hello? Hello, Ips. What's going on, Ips? Oh. Can we... It says in the rules that we have to play in this mumble. Can we not play in this mumble? Sam is lagging out here. Nope. Gotta play here. Alright, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Is he taking that as a serious answer? I don't know. I don't have anything to do with this. I'm just uh, like uh, a bad cast. <laughs> Hold on, let me message the legendary IPZ. <laughs> okay, I messaged him, so hopefully Nat will um, sort it out. Suo has joined the channel. I don't know if that's related to the thing. Is he? I think Suo's sorting it out. Nice. Okay. So I presume we're still going to wait in the meantime. Until... Yeah. <laughs> Waiting does seem to be the dish of the day. The order of the day, yeah. I um... really wish I just knew a map so I could talk some bullshit about TF2 and pretend I know what's going on. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, a map change. We're on ten to hooks right now. Uh, you're gonna get to see it live on stream as well. The big reveal. It's like Dota picks or something. I don't watch Dota. But <laughs> it's I like what it's I imagine. Like it's that. like what I imagine Dota picks might be like if I knew what that was. Yeah. Right on. 
where are we going to? I'm just on change in level. So I um, get the impression they picked a crash server. A server crash. A server crash. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be difficult for BK on that map. Um, I reckon they stand their best chance there. Well, we're... Oh, we've finished. got a bar. we got Badlands. Badlands. Okay. All right, then. Are you still in favour of main call TF, then? To just... <clears throat> now, this is interesting, doomerate. because I was not... Did we watch main call TF on Badlands earlier? Yes. Did we? Yeah, we yes. watched them play GG well played, right? Yep. I was not overly impressed with Mike on mid, whereas I'm constantly always very impressed by Rib on this mid. So I think that could be an interesting thing to watch out for. I mean, Mike obviously is a sick gamer, and it was one of his first maps of the day playing not his main class, so I'm expecting him to be better than he was earlier. Not that he was bad, but just not... You know, not as good as Mike can be. But Rib on this mid is something I've always been quite impressed with, just the way he manoeuvres himself around the point and dominates the space, as well as being quite fast to mid quite reliably. So I think that's an interesting matchup, and one I would definitely put in favour of BK. Because I don't think there's not really many matchups I would put in favour of BK. Like, I'm not saying Rib is even better than Mike, but just on this mid, it's like a matchup that I'd give to BK. Hmm. I don't know, it's, yeah, it's an interesting point, really, because um, a lot of the other players, it's pretty even, really. I guess I'd say Zappis and Rising were probably as good as each other, but everywhere else... Well, is... Rising's definitely better than Zappis. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, Zappis is quite new to Rome, so like, I'm not you know, condemning him as, mm. a, as a Roma, but right now, if we're going to be... If we're going to talk real talk, I think Rising is a step ahead. Like, both in DM and the way he's, he re, he's reading the game. I mean, Zappis isn't bad, and he has, he has a lot of improving to do, I think. But, okay. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't really know, feel like I know anything about AMS. I've seen him play a bit today, but he's just kind of jumping, shooting, you know, pocket soldier Hitting antics. Stuff. Yeah. Well, like, in the game against 425, one you were out for, uh, he made some really nice plays, like, proper, like, kind of... The sort of thing, you know, where you sort of you go in as pocket, you commit sort of as the kind of cleanup role. And he'd always just he just got like a couple of fr nice free man to sort of like rocket shotgun combo, finishing off everyone else's damage. Yeah. Sort of what you'd expect. But then earlier when BK played uh, main call TF when we watched, uh, I really just like AMS just kind of went missing. Like just really did nothing of note all game. The drilling has begun. Uh -huh. <laughs> And if you go into a sort of player team that, you know, you're not favourites to, you really need sort of everyone to kind of do their best, really, sort of at least accomplish something or work together. We can't really afford for many players to go missing. I also feel Zebesai... Right been... <laughs> I always feel uh, Zebesai um, has been very inconsistent so far today. Like, sometimes he'll hit everything, he'll be unstoppable, and then you'll go for another 15 minutes where you don't really notice him doing anything on the map. And then he'll do something sick again. But you need a bit more sort of sustained consistency, I guess. I don't know if that's just Sebo playing off his main class again. Um, but it'll certainly be interesting to see what kind of game Zebo brings to this matchup. I believe we're still having some more delays. Wow. Um, wow. Um, main call TF have to change Mumble server because Sam's having problems. Um, right. Like he just keeps timing out. So... Um, we're, they're going to swap over that, which does mean we'll be without team comms. We'll only have uh, BK's comms, but obviously they have a more exciting comms anyway. That's what we really want to listen to. I don't know, like, I mean, from what we saw, BK's comms weren't... Sorry, uh, main call TF's comms weren't exactly that enthralling, but I don't know. If this game turned out to be close and weren't really tight, it's like mm. a mumble with Ips and Mirilin in it when things are pretty hectic could always be quite interesting to listen to. It just so happened earlier they were pretty comfortable most of the time. Mm. But I don't know. I kind of feel like they're probably going to be quite comfortable here as well. The only time, if I'm being honest, the only time I think they won't be that comfortable is in the first five or ten minutes. And no. in that time, no one's that frantic yet because you know you have 20 minutes left, whatever's going to go on. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes, obviously. It's like you said, the only thing I'd worry is even if BK do have a strong start, B, uh, main call TF have shown before and that they can just bounce back, you know? Like, it's not it's not a bad start, just leads to them crumbling. They've shown they have a little bit of fight back and can just kind of stabilise after a bit of conflict amongst themselves. Um, but I hope BK can do it. It'd be nice for someone not 
the obvious team to win. You know? Yeah. Um, server. Server just crashed. Are we having a pause? <laughs> a warm up pause? Know. Yeah, this warm up's very intense. <laughs> um, Is there any map you'd think, so say main call, like main call TF, pick this map, so they're probably going to win it just because they have a higher seed, they have a favourite, they got to pick the map. Is there any map you think BK would do better on, like sort of thinking further down the line, that BK should pick if they get a loser's pick, sort of a weak point for main call.tf? Uh, is logjam in the map pool? Yes. Then logjam. Yeah? Because, um, I don't know. Like, if you ask main call how have their PCW's been going, they say, oh, we win against everyone apart from on logjam. So, that's the only reason card. I say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah just because it's like it's new and no one really is that comfortable on it. But, I mean, they did play the cup, so maybe that's a bit different now. But, I mean, they didn't exactly look convincing in the cup, but it was an, a slightly older version of the map by the time they got to the final. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, <laughs> the sniper battle... Like we saw earlier, well, I just just type about the sniping we saw earlier from Zemmerside was kind of interesting. Like he kind of like knew, knows how to use sniper to his advantage when the other team doesn't have a real sniper. I mean, I know we see bits of Sam sniping here and there. We've seen Kyla snipe, but neither of those are really players I consider to be like a, a dominating sniper. So I don't know. It used to always be a broader strat to how how to beat Epsi. Hmm. When they didn't have, because the old Epsi didn't really have a classic sniper. I mean, Zebra is obviously not on that level, but get off cap. But he's on a higher level, I think, than the snipers that red team have available. Yeah, uh, the only problem I find, you know, like uh, Zebra size again, uh, he's kind of inconsistent on sniper as he's on scout. Like very much hit and miss, both literally and metaphorically. Um, but. I don't know, also Badlands can be quite difficult to snipe on, really. Like, it's everyone's quite used, everyone's so experienced on the map, the workaround's a little bit easier than on, say, Snake Water well, yeah, process but, or something, or Log yeah. Jam. Yeah, but I was talking more about, like, if I was. If, if you I were was BK. Blue team, if I was like, Blue Why do I keep saying Blue Team? If I was <laughs> BK and I got wrecked on Badlands, that is one approach that I think they could look at if they haven't. Because obviously they know themselves better than I know, so maybe they have a better idea. But failing up, it is an option to fall back on. Okay. Might be interesting how that will affect the Uber count drop as well. Uh Merlin does like to get headshot. Is the is the um is the competition for all maps? I think like it's together or her map as far as I understand. Her map. Let and what see. is up for grabs? Just a key. Keys, but like a key per thing. Uh so three keys for score, one key for Uber drop. And this is a pause, I'm told. Yes, so I think they go live and then they pause. Sam has mumble issues. So yeah. maybe they can come back to this mumble and we can enjoy their team. Maybe. Sam has mumble issues, but we had to start in time and Kyla is MIA. So it's dinner time in Portugal. <laughs> uh, for those of you who aren't aware, Kyla still lives at home. So every at the same time every night, it's dinner time. So he has to go downstairs and eat dinner with his family, family occasion. But unfortunately, this always coincides with match time. So it's just, it's like a... In the contract, he signs that he's allowed to leave for 10 minutes to go eat dinner during a match. David's saying there's nothing new on the feed, so we're currently probably as much in the dark as you are, chat. So we will just keep watching and hope for some TF2 to appear. Hmm. Merlin's also running crits in the warm-up. I don't know if that's a thing to take of note or if it's just a coincidence. Um, it could be one of two things. It could mean he's not going to start on crits, or it could mean that, well, basically, if he's taking crits in the warm-up, he probably doesn't intend to start the game with crits, but what he tends to do is be like, oh, fuck, it's crits at the start of the round. <laughs> so, so an accidental crit start for yeah. main call TF is on the cards right now. Yeah, either it's, it's probably either a trick, well, not a trick, but like just like a mind game, or it's like just not even notice it himself. But we'll see, I suppose, if the game ever unpauses. Yeah, I think I finally come to term with these, just to completely clarify the key situation, since I've probably confused everyone somewhat. It's three keys per map, and a bonus one for Uber drops. So, 
that's for potential. You need to tweet at teamfortress.tv. No, at just at teamfortress.tv uh, with your score prediction, who will win, and uber drops. I can uber drop count. So get entering because there's plenty of time while this pause happens. Uh, are we still to believe it's because of Sam's mumble issues? Hmm? Sorry, I still, yeah, it's still it's still because of Sam's mumble issues. They're just trying to. Yeah. He's not on the server either, is he? Currently, yeah, like, so. I'm view gaming, view game, viewing game info, and there is zero frags on the board. So I'm really hoping they're going to restart rather than give us a broken HUD for the first ten minutes. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, <laughs> people in chat asking if Kyla's family know that 900 people are waiting. <laughs> 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 I don't think it would matter, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I think he has to finish his supper first. No, no games unless you finish all your tea, Kyla. But obviously, oh, no, no. More, more in Portuguese than that. My Portuguese is a little rusty. I think it sounded just great. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I do often impersonate Kyla's mum to wind him up. Oh. I hate pauses, especially when the game's not started. Yep. <laughs> I can't even watch warm up. I just have to watch buggy models, bicycles, mm. unicycles in the air. Although, check out Mike, the famous unicyclist, currently in the air, rocking the unicycle pose. Hold on, which colour is Mike? Red. He's, he's not red unicycling one. on my screen. He's just no. He's just crouching. Oh, he's pedaling like a mofo. <laughs> I noticed he's wearing his ESL winners medal from about what five years ago. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, it's pretty much when he played with Kick, you know, the oh, Red yeah. Rock and Matlin team, isn't it? Yeah, and Fade Step, and Roy's, and. Uh. Senor? Something like that? You know that Israeli scout. Yeah, sorry, my cat has just jumped on me for the 19th time. I'm gonna be right back while I kick his ass. Okay, well, Kadas commits um, animal abuse. Um. I guess. We'll talk about more matchups, really, because there's not a lot to work with. Um, wow, this pause is still going on. David has no information. Um, I have no information. Kadis has no information. I really wish someone would drop me some info. I've been told to check stream. Um, what am I checking it for, David? Oh, they unpaused. Warm up oh. is live. Warm up An excellent is really bomb live. onto the train by the soldier of AMS. Oh, just one more time for competition rules because Ali missed them all because he's a numpsy. Uh, you tweet uh, at Team Fortress TV. You tweet the score and who you think that score will be in favour of and the number of Uber drops. And that is per map. And there are keys for prizes. We have uh, a person. Running the Twitter feed, who will sort out those prizes for you. Um, so now we're on pause. We've got some warm up. Uh, I think it's been confirmed that Kyla is still eating. So right now, we're waiting and just hoping Kyla didn't have a particularly big meal. Hi. Uh, hopefully, going to be starting soon. Kyla's been on the server for two minutes and twenty five seconds. Looking good. <laughs> Let's talk about some more matchups then. Well, we've got time to kill. So, I think we're. So, we talked about the Roma, we talked about the Demo Man. Um, where would you fall on the scout side? Because obviously, Zebersai can be very dominant. Uh, are they I going feel live? Like we're live. Live with fun. Yeah, they're going live without Kyla. Herpy asked really in chat, and apparently, really, welcome to the grand final for Team Fortress uh, TV. Are we just going to go live again? Mm. I'm not sure. Looks like they're giving the first mid. I'm not really sure what happened, but they're giving the first mid. Kyla's now in the game, and they're just going to hold yard, it looks like, and just give away It'd middle for free. Leaders. Okay, so yeah, so this is this is for Team Fortress. Mirlin is on crits, by the way. He is running crits. Okay. Maybe it's an elaborate strategy based around Kyla's meal times. Kyla goes in late to the server, they give a mid, but then they crits in. Who would have seen it come in? The crits is going to be put on Mike. In they come. Uh, Mike misses, though. Mike misses again. Uh, uh, he's going to miss some more. And that's a big zero damage crits from Mike. And now they're just going to fall back off of that. So yeah, this is for Team Fortress. 
uh, TV. Fourth Invitational, Grand Final between Mainkle.tf and BK. Um, with possibly one of the oddest starts to a Grand Final now has been. Uh, we're now going to see BK push with Uber Advantage to try and get on Spire. But it looks like they're just wrapping around. Murren's going to go down, but the, both soldiers have a scout up. are behind, but this back cap's just coming off. Uh, they're all going to come back and block while the cap still gets down. And Mankle.tf completely committed to this back cap, but surely it's not going to work now. Uh, Herpy's going to clean up Ips. And I think someone, he might be peeking on last, but I think no, uh, the demo is just going to go back. Uh, rib backing it up. Yeah, it's an interesting sequence of play. Did um did BK come from resup? I was like fixated on what was yes, happening on the yard and yeah. trash. There. That's wise because there was um, a cl a clever sticky trap from Mike was actually in the rocks and I was feeling quite nervous for BK, but they completely side skied it by going resup. And yeah, close to the back cap, but yeah, nice in the end. Looks like yeah. they have a pyro and nothing else out of the ordinary for uh main call. Sorry, I just need to fix my comp. Um. Uh, BK now have the Uber, they're Ubering in top left, the Pyro doing a decent work of denying, but Mike's gone down somewhere, and Ips has also gone down, I'm not sure where that happened, but this is really looking really good for BK now as they push in last. Dropped hair P, but it looks like it's only for the point, and they get on the point, and it's an easy first round. Yeah. Strange first round, but clinical in the end, which is exactly what BK needs to be at the moment. Yeah, so now now, really odd 2 minutes and 40 seconds is out of the way, I think we're going to see some actual TF2 uh, of <laughs> the more predictable variety. Um, so yeah, main call TF on red, uh, Mike's going to be coming through the balcony side, doesn't want to try and match Rib for speed, but he's actually quicker than Rib. Rib lagged him in a row. Did he? Uh, yeah, so it looks like Zaps is going aggressive, but he's got not got a whole lot of support, but now comes the BK players coming forward. But main call TF looks like they have this pretty much under control, they're separated from BK players, Rib really isn't doing an awful lot so far in this mid, he's getting forced out, the scouts are still fighting underneath, uh, the scouts still trapped there, but he's got a lot of people to fight. He's going to try and get up underneath it. He's being hunted down right now. He's dancing around for a long time. He's just going to buy more and more time. Um, and is eventually taken down. Uh, but I did create enough space for Nutson to get out. Get an Uber as well. Yeah, um, I was unlucky for BK. The Rip had a really big lag spike twice on his roll. Like once on the stair jump, once on the window jump. Meaning he was really slow. Probably a bit out of his element. Not really like in tune with the mid as he arrived. But they're Ubering on from, from balcony now. Chasing to the players down in trash. They get the counter pop. Um, looking not so great for BK though, they're going to have to back up to lobby. Nutson getting juggled, he's in complete no man's land at the moment, going for the swords. But I think it's GG for Nutson. He's not dying for some reason. He's actually staying alive, he dies now, but is he bought enough time to get trades? I don't know. Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah, the scouts are trying to go aggressive, but some nice defensive work from Ips. He gets one scout, but then he gets taken down. Now P's on the half HP Merlin, but he's got Kyla with him, and Kyla comes back and clean him up. Meanwhile though, um, AMS has got Inspire, and it's just MGE and the hell out of this scout. Uh, before Rising comes and ruins that one on one. Uh, and after all this, my HUD is fixed! Yay! I only tried before we went live, so it's been fixed the whole time, but uh, he's that's good for you. Uh, yeah, and we're actually going to see Kyla then get caught off uh, down main. Uh, not going to really achieve much, but just delay main call TF, which is what the name of the game BK need to play right now, because they're at a, uh, about a 50% uber disadvantage, if not a little bit more, and main call TF going to want to take that right then. Um, they've got a pyro in the form of P, but that's all. But it looks like they just want to circumvent the pyro by coming through the spot on right side. Going to get a little bit of spam, but they've not been forced to pop yet. Burns milking away. Going to eventually pop on the point, get the scout on the point. They all have to drop to block it. Rib goes down. That means point's going to be open. They're trying to find uh, frags, and they are finding frags. Nutson gets a slice. He's on 93%. His player's going to get killed before he can get the full charge, though. And main call TF with a quick response. Um, yeah, really odd mid. I was expecting, we talked about it before, but Rib really didn't have a lot of impact on that previous mid due to his slow rollout. Yeah, he looks like he's not lagging this time, not as fast as he would like to be, but um, I think he's going to do okay. He's looking like he's going to go from house again, predicting a house roll up from Mike, but read it wrongly. Mike playing from Bao because the Roam is going to come in maybe soon. So it looks like everyone's going under as if jumped to his own train, taking control of that area. Uh, Zap is now in on their slope, uh, achieving absolutely nothing, getting picked off. Mike quite weak, but he's going to be just fine as uh, Red Team should look to push across the point now. As they've gained complete control, they have health advantage, and Ips is in, gets one. Rib's going to go down, being juggled, and Nutson has no chance. <laughs> no, everyone's piling through onto Nutson, that's a complete wipe, only in exchange for Rising. And Rib keeps like sort of like playing like he wants to fight sort of a normal demo man fight, but Mike's just expecting to be outpaced, just goes balcony every time, and then just drops yeah. the slope. I think Rib needs to kind of divert his attention to slope because uh, Mankle are doing this slope rollout almost every mid and there's a lot of damage there for him if he wants to take it. 
Um, needs us to sync up with Zappis a little bit, get some like some bodies in front of Rib so he can spam down. Mm, yeah, Zappis' bomb was quite out of sync really. Like it was yeah. a the area he bombed was nice and he was in the right kind of area to do damage, but he didn't land his shots. He didn't have any backup to make up for it. And now we're in a similar position as last round. The Uber advantage push coming in top. Pyro's going to fall to the floor, and that's not going to happen. Um, AMS nope. is going to be taken down quickly. The Pyro is now stranded on the floor. He's going to be picked okay. off. They're going to turn into a bit of a DM fight right now. Rib has to drop down to the point, and Rib is pretty much isolated here. They're going to rush the point and just overpower Rib. And that's a, another quick round for main call TF. BK need to change something on his mids. Yeah, or at least improve their last hold, because the way they're holding last at the moment is not going to cut it. <laughs> like, the first the first time they let him in for free bomb left, and they didn't have to Uber to they were by the point. And that time, Happy just completely beefed his Pyro work. Uh, just bad news. Yeah, uh, gonna go to this next mid. Uh, gonna be watching. Looks like main call TF wanna come through house this time. Not a whole lot of damage. Early bomb. It's trying to make his way out of the house right now. Uh, but he's actually had to just just backing out and going behind, trying to deal with these players behind. He's gonna clean up one scout. Meanwhile, PK just cleaned up everything else on the point. Ips jumps in, gets absolutely wrecked. Trying to come back in. Uh, Kyle is still fighting on the slope. But he's going to be uh, forced out. Uh, much more convincing from BK. I didn't catch too much of that. I was no, watching it was the wrong very, person. It was but. really strange. I was watching Rip, and it it didn't really seem like anything was happening. Like he just kind of strolled out, and no one was there. He just kind of locked down the areas. Like it, I don't know. Clearly something happened, but I, it wasn't mm. apparent. Yeah, I was on Ips' point of view, and he just sort of he arrived up in, but Zappis was already there. We're going to see the Uber come in now. They're going to try and focus down the Pyro, but this Pyro is taking a long time to die. Sam buying a lot of time. Knocked down to the floor, but still not down. The, the rest of BK open. are trying to come Like, Rib must be in. screaming right now to get on the point, because it's been wide open. He's had stickers on oh. it for so long. They've all dropped down to it. Rib only gets one frag. They wink up Zap. Uh, it's turned to a DM fight. Rib's still dancing around. The scout's coming in, but Ips is going to clean up both of them. Oh. And missed opportunity in there for BK. Yeah, like, Mike only had stickies. I don't know where they were. Main, top, something like this. But Rib could see it. He was sticking the point. He must have been calling it, but just too slow. Like, by the time the scout went on it, Mike had started to stick it up again. Yeah, uh, it just ended up, yeah, then they sort of overcommitted once it was finally cool, like they threw everyone at it. Yeah. And Mankle just cleaned it up, but Vico don't want to give up this Spire, they're going to focus down, that's going to make it difficult for them. And they've already got a scout peeking around main, that's going to sort of force them back, Mankle TF won't be so secure with it. And we're in a pretty much equal uber situation, Mike is down, so we don't know if BK want to try and make an aggressive play. They do, play. they want to go. Yeah, here we go, they're going to stack top right, they're going to play for the point, they know there's no stick, yeah, they're perfect. just going to rush for point. Uh, quick response. Let's go to the BK comms on this mid after that pretty easy 2-2 um, two -two round. Open and I'm just trying to see where the Omer is going. I can more eyes on him. What's up is I'm gonna go shit off. Yep, I'm gonna point. You're not gonna have as much with you. I'll delay my job. Jumping 40, Chuck. Scout shit out, sorry not early. Climbing now. Uh, Hold out. Rib is weak. Sunny launch. So launch, took one of them. Slow. Scout. Scout low under. We lost, lost. Sunny down. I'm down. I'm falling. Knock on. Reset. Knock on. Yeah, you're out. Delayed my jump a bit too much there. AMS summing us up, taking responsibility for the delayed jump. <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, that was all that went wrong. Rib got quite weak, like he couldn't really go anywhere. I mean, it could have been closer maybe, but I don't think AMS can take all the blame for that. There just wasn't, just wasn't that great a mid overall, I think. Mm. Yeah, it seems to be coming down to a lot to how much Rib can get done, you know? Um, in terms of how much damage, how long he can stay alive. Uh, that mid though has allowed him to take over Spire for free. Uh, but BK are going to put up a forward hold as they still have Uber and they want to... Uh, the idea here is that they want to be able to push out as soon as main call.tf make a mistake or overextend into them. And main call TF just seems to be taking their time right now. Uh, they're playing pretty aggressive around resupply as well. Uh, Mike's going to have to come and shut that down. But BK look pretty comfortable here. Yep, um, just checking to see what uh, what main call are doing. They're just chilling on stone. Looks like maybe they want to uber scouts. This is not like... Yeah, they're going to uber scouts. It's a drill. You take it. Yeah, they're going to uber free main. They get one scout from... BK are falling back, but they're going to cut off these scouts. They're ready to go though, the soldiers are playing really aggressive. That's just going to have to multi quite a lot here to get these players through. They're going to chase into top lobby. They should be able to kill this demo. AMS is going to take that one. Zebesai has killed Kyra. Uh, main call TF maybe did quite well to escape with so many of their lives. Yeah. Zebesai is behind a dies though, and that seems unnecessary. His other he's now weak as well. They're getting the frag, but I think a soldier has gone behind. behind. Yeah, uh, he's Ips is still up top by in time. He's going to try and drop down onto the medic again. It's just going to go aggressive for him. It's just going to get him. Ips takes down Nutson. 
Meanwhile, Merlin died on the other side of it, and that's going to tie up the Ubers. But through all this, BK have managed to get the cap out. And now Mike's going to challenge Rib on Stone Bridge in a sort of a demo v demo one on one. But Mike is getting flanked, even though he's got the better of Rib right now. Zebeside's going to go down in house, so maybe that flank has been cancelled. It hasn't actually, there's another scout. He's coming through, going to take down Mike, but then he's going to get focused by both scouts. Rib's still trying to spam and sort of. Uh, we're sort of back and forth without any heals there, just trying to get an advantage. But without Mike, this uh, defensive Spire should be pretty comfortable for BK. Still drilling? Excellent. Uh, BK going to move forward to choke now, but I think they might want to try and get through choke if possible before uh, Mike arrives. He is rolling out right now, and BK have probably missed their window of opportunity here. They're just going to heal up, give Zappis maybe a chance to pick in a house. The Ubers have stayed uh, sort of mirrored. Uh, so far, and BK just seemed to have one scout on resupply and everyone else stack and choke. Really supporting Nutson in case they send sort of that solo uh, bomb or bits of aggression through choke. Um, so now we're just going to see... With these equal Ubers, it's really up to main call TF or sort of a team obliged to make a move due to the spawn advantage. Ips is going into that super high spot to try and get some angle on where Nutson is. I presume he's going to call it to Rising. Rising's going to get 300 and have a go at a bomb. Uh, he's getting for 300 right now. Rising's going to be lining it up. He's trying to get as close as he can before he launches around. They see him coming, though. He kind of clips for wall, though. Gets taken down pretty quickly. Uh, Rip hits him with a sticky trap. Um, Rising just missed his jump there. And now it's going to force for push from uh, BK. AMS is going to try and lead it in. Eventually gets popped on pretty low HP. Uh, they lose Zebesai as well. And now Nutson's awfully deep on this UV. He's going to try and get out of hats. Uh, but Rib's going to be chased down Choke, and it's a much better Uber for main call TF. And there's already a scout coming up behind Nutson as they push through Choke. Nutson's in no man's land now. He's going to go down. I think Zappis was behind, but he only manages to trade for Mike. He's at house, but he's completely out of the He's going to try and go through, but Rising was waiting for him. And that's pretty much a wipe. Zebesai first to die, first to respawn. Still drilling? There's a brief knock. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, main kill TF, uh, got that pick onto Zebesai really early, no need to die for Zebo there. And it's really just presented an opportunity for them to come in. But that sticky trap kill on Kyla might slow it down. Rib's trying to put out a lot of spam and uh, just prevent them coming in. Buy his team some time to stabilize. But Merlin still has this big uber charge advantage on Balcony. And that's going to be up in 10% of the time and they're going to be pushing in once again. We see P on the pyro, sort of for standard play. Uh, just playing near the front and they're going to try and stop them coming in top left. Mike's trying to find some early damage. Pyro's reflecting him. The Uber's going to come in right now. We're going to try and come through that, but it's so much work from Pit. Uh, briefly, he's going to force the frag onto Mike, but they still get the frag on the scout soldier. P now gets a flare gun frag, and they're trying to come back in top left here. They are, but so much work from P. Soldier's going to get onto Nutson, but he's going to avoid it. There's now a scout on Rip. Uh, Kyler's killed him as well. Kyler's going to get two. Kyler's going to run for the point. He's on it with uh, against the Pyro. The Pyro will get him down with the help of Zappis. Now Zappis is going for the Medic. Zappis is going to clean up both of them and he might be able to turn this into a push. Going to take on the demo as well, but Mike's got too much health. Going to finish him off. Scout's going to follow up on Mike though. Zebo's is going to get him, but he can only force a trade. Meanwhile, AMS has started capping the point, uh, but he's awfully alone here. AMS might just die. He's about to get surrounded. Uh, well, the AMS drilling has paused for a few minutes, so <laughs> I can pretend to be a caster for again. What did you see, Cadus? What did you make of all that, that last um, push? I'm not entirely sure. It's very actually hard to interpret this game without sound. When you all we can hear is vroom. But uh, yeah. Um, please, Zappis got the frag on Merlin. I thought he was gonna slink away there for a moment. It was a way in the way that Merlin often does. Um, Scout on the point. There's a spy behind a spy. as well. Zebo comes in, uh, takes Merlin and just cloaks away and slinks away. Uh, Zebo having a bit more success than he has done on a sniper on this off class. But meanwhile, there's players on last, and they've just left him. The debt's gonna get him. Zappis arrives back in time. The soldier's coming in, uh, Mike's coming in as well. Mike's gonna get a nice shot by MS to finish him off. They're gonna try and finish the soldier as well. I think Rising's just gonna try and buy as much time as he possibly can. They see him walk out trash foe. He's gonna go balcony, and I think he's gonna try and drop down on the medic. He's gonna drop down on Nutson. Nutson's 48. 50. But AMS hits the shotgun in time. Uh, Nutson's about to get some pressure from resupply as well. The cap has been started, but with Nutson having to get help, this might present an opportunity for Mankle TF to block. But here come BK and Fumbus. Uh, they're going to Uber actually, but Mankle TF aren't that close to them. They're going to have to go really deep to try and get something out of this. Meanwhile, AMS is getting absolutely obliterated. Yeah, Can't they need to anywhere. cancel this. They need to just chill out now. Yeah. Yeah. Enough, Make a plan yeah. for the defense or something like this. Like they could do the backup or just try and force really early. But yeah, this is a time to hold. Yeah, AMS. Looks like AMS just wanted to try and just. 
take the last bit of view, Ringo as deep as he can for a solo play, and then he just got absolutely uh, blocked by spam. And now we're going to see Merlin with Uber, and I think they're moving resupply with it. Uh, yep, taking their time coming in. Uh, quite a bit of spam going in. Uh, they get Zap is pretty weak, but he's going to get away. Go to the resupply. And they've got on Stone Bridge for pretty much free. Not a lot of resistance there. And they just conceded to hold top lobby instead. I think so. I never was on that. Up, um, <laughs> uh, as the drilling recommences, I'm going to look in this forward hold. Uh, they're trying to pressure it pretty hard. They've stacked bottom left, trying to come in there, but Rib's still got stickies. Mike's just going to walk inside though, he's taking a lot of damage. AMS is going to drop down and kill him, the Ubers are exchanged. Uh, Nutson's going to Uber onto AMS, he's going to shy the scouts away. Rib's trying to force the combo out, man. Meanwhile, uh, Zap is going to pick off going really deep. Rib's going to come a point, and there's absolute uh, chaos on Stone Bridge. They try and protect Nutson from everything. Uh, there's still a soldier halfway up, he's going to finish off the weak hit. And uh, BK do really well to come out so cleanly out of such a messy sort of exchange. It could have been a lot worse for them. Uh, now they're going to walk in. Mike with, wow, huge pipes. The drill goes crazy. Uh, Mike goes down shortly afterwards, but now a huge double pipe onto AMS uh, is going to help uh, delay this aggression, and it's allowing Kyla to get two picks with the pistol. Uh, and Sam's behind them. The scouts are playing all here, following up off uh, that Mike damage. Uh, but they are still fighting for this. It's the combo against the scout and the medic. The soldier's coming in now, arriving. Zap has done some nice damage. But he will crater, the scout's going to get the health pack, and the Ips and Merlin are just trying to survive right now. Mike arrives just in time, going to clean that one up as well. And main call TF, survive the whole time with their medic. Uh, well played by Ips and Merlin to keep themselves up there. And now it's back to where we were, BK defending Spire. It's an interesting situation we have here because, I mean, they have a demo on battle. They're going to be able to hold the Spire for a while, and then mid is over half capped. Like, I'm pretty sure Zebo's side is going to respawn and go for a backup or something here if they commit onto the Spire. It looks like they're going back now. They've probably heard about that cap, yeah, Happy was already there, but I still wouldn't be surprised to see Zebo try it as well. Yeah, it's kind of pulled Mainfield up to the effect, they have the Uber now, so they're going to try and go through, they only have one player, two players now in recent play. Oh, Zebo's going for the backup as well, there's a soldier waiting for him on mid though. But look, Merlin's surely going to have to pop, just know he holds onto it on 20 HP, he does let it stay, but he's kept hold of that Uber, and now in a sort of 3v3 situation, it might have worked out. Uh, I think that was maybe the right call by Merlin, just to let it die instead of popping to keep him alive. Uh, it's allowed them to walk forward with this, and I don't think they're going to go for it. No, Saying that shouldn't. AMS is going, AMS is going, he's going to get Uber now. That's a bad decision. Yeah, they're going to force him off though, the Ubers have been exchanged. Rib's going to keep spamming and they've sort of forced everyone off point except for Merlin. And now the melee's going to go forward, but the scouts focus down AMS. Mike goes down and exchange as well. And BK is still fighting this, but the cap is so close. The flank comes in uh, from Stone Bridge. Frags are being traded, but main call to TF are being forced further and further back. Rib's got this, uh, some nice damage on this scout, and now main call TF only have three people alive. A spawner, I think Samzy just spawned, or was it uh, Mike even just spawned? I think uh, it was Mike. We're now in the same position pretty much again, aren't we? Ips is going to have a jump in and jump out, just to try and scope out where they are. Doesn't want to fully commit. And there's a lot of back and forth here for not a lot of ground gain for either team. Yep. Two till currently, ten minutes left. Should we go to the BK comms? Yeah, let's break up a bit. Hold on to them. Getting ammo again. The Uber is level though, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna build it. Demo's uh... close and choke. No, don't build it, don't build it. People need okay. seals there all the time. Alright, we got Uber, guys. They're up, they're up, push. They're up, push. Push middle. Demo's captain, sir. I need help. I need help, I'm dead. They came back? Oh, I dropped. They were not raised up, they were back in middle now. Well, that went about as badly as it possibly could have done. Yeah, Ibsen Rising tried this bomb around to resup, like they weren't pushing, they were just looking to catch out a frag, and Zappis made the wrong call. Like, it's fair enough how he interpreted the situation, but on this occasion it was a misinterpretation. And gave his team the complete wrong info, and nuts and dropping just kind of cemented a horrible bit of play. Yeah, they tried, yeah, it was just for wrap around, and there was nothing to wrap around. It just sort of wrapped into. They wrapped full into a, a, yeah, a full wave of spam. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we're now back on last. They do have an uber advantage, but they're going to try and turn this into a push. AMS getting all over Mike right now. Uh, he's going to get him picked off with the help of Rib. Uh, Zebo has gone down and Nutson is really weak, but they want to keep this push going. This is really risky from BK. They don't have a lot of health. Nutson's going to give a resupply. Rib's going to try and catch out and scout. Launches him into the air. He's going to crater. Uh, 
Uh, rest in peace, Sam. And now the scouts have a pop, but they have it. But Merlin's gonna pop, it's just gonna finish off. Uh, there's a sniper on the field from Kyla and Nutson still only has 80%, but they're kind of holding over Rick's supply. Meanwhile, Ix Ips has killed Rib in lobby. Uh, Nutson's gonna try and go back, but he might walk into him here. They're gonna kill Ips. Uh, a lot of trading going on. They only have three people alive. This is really risky for BK. They definitely shouldn't be pushing. <laughs> AMS is going really deep for it. He might be able to get the demo. Can't get the demo. Mike's going to slink away. I think there's a player behind as well in Stonebridge. He's going to come out onto Nuts and two shot Nuts and AMS with a pretty nice shotgun. Uh, he's going to try and take down a soldier as well, but it's all just constant trading. And Merlin's built up a 60% advantage through all of this. Nah, I don't know what they were thinking Ubering there, like, or trying to Uber their push out. Like, they had three down. Even if they'd got kills, they still wouldn't have taken Spire. Like, the respawn waves would have come in before they had Spire capped. And yeah, it was a really, like, it, you could say it's ballsy, but I just think it was a bad play. It didn't make any sense to try that. Like, especially when they had room to fall back. Like, if they were stuck there, it's one thing, but they had room to fall back, get six. Still have, a, like, Merlin still doesn't have Uber, so that's how big their advantage was. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think it was a real misstep. Yeah, it was a sort of a, weird to see such a push out from last go on for so long. And now yeah. we see a sniper coming down main, he's going to be forced back. We see P on the sniper trying to buy time, he's trying to keep it back in there, he's doing a pretty good job so far, but really liking his pyro play. He's no MSH, that's for sure. And um, they're just going to force main call TF out here, just completely uh, fail the push. And now P's all the way on the medic, surely Murren's going to burn to death. He's so low on HP, he's just going to taunt, he's on 8 HP, 7 HP. He was going to survive, he got the health pack. Ips is in behind uh, the point though, Ips is on the medic, yeah. Ips is gonna get him, Ips no, it fails, he can get it. Right, okay, he in missed, the, um, but the, the point's, point's completely open now though, and it's just nuts that he's going for a slice. <sighs> I, I still nearly got, got it. it though. Yeah. yeah, he almost did, but that was pretty close, but I, I don't, I, I understand it, but I'm, don't, I'm not sure I like what uh, BK are doing, like, they're doing a really nice work with this pyro and combined soldier spam. And then they're just rushing bodies into upper lobby and like they're trading three for a med. It's just not it's just not gonna work. Like nine times out of ten, if you trade three for a med, that close to last, mm. that's gonna exactly what we just saw is gonna happen. Yeah, just to confirm for those watching the drop cap, Nutson got the slice and technically dropped, so that's gonna go in favour of that. That's two for Nutson so far. Uh, meanwhile Mike's getting chased really high at choke. So I'm just gonna keep chasing him, but he hits a nice sort of air pipe on AMS again. That's like the, I think the fourth one Big he's rip. gone. But now Rib and Nutson are completely stranded at shit house. They're going to try and get out, but surely they're doomed. But Zappis can't get the counter pick onto Merlin either. And yeah, just uh, pretty comfortable from main call there. Not a whole lot of pressure on them. And they're just yeah. able to clean up the frags pretty quickly. I think AMS showing his inexperience there. Was he chasing Mike through choke, like into yard? Yeah, it was. Like, this, ha mm. this happened on like the side of Spy in this frag. Yeah, this was a real misstep from him. Like, Rib did a lot of damage to Mike, forced Mike out, and Mike's position there was basically completely compromised once he was out and around the corner. Didn't need to think about him anymore. It was all about the scouts and the soldiers. Uh, real mistake to chase him. Like, Zebo ended up dying elsewhere. So, not a whole lot of coordination there, but I think it all starts from chasing that demo too hard. Uh, now it's going to be a scout over through top. I'm going with both scouts now, but Pete's just making him look absolutely foolish right now. Uh, and this Uber has done nothing, but on the other side of it, Flank's coming and got him some space. And now we're going to try and repush non Uber through top there. And this has gone much better for him. Nutson's not going to get a slice, but they're all really weak and they might be able to get cleaned up here. They're going to fight around the point. Rib's going to try and buy time while. Uh, Zepside gets a resub, Rib with a nice pipe as well. Surely Zepside's gonna clean him up. Our oh, Rib doesn't even need any help. He's got this on lockdown. And now we're gonna try and push resub. forward. He's gonna catch uh, a scout out. No, he's Zebo's not. Gonna gonna, no, Zebo's gonna see him. Rib's gonna force him back. Zebo thinks about the chase, just backs off. Uh, but because of that, they just got not got any cap time instead. I'm not sure if they wanted to commit to this push anyway. Uh, I think Zebo was thinking more about a flank because they didn't have heals. They were never really gonna be able to take the spire. They might have got some time on it, but it wasn't really enough. Zebo is flanking. He's going to meet a scout in hat, uh, going to try and duel him, but now he's uh, he can't finish him off in enough shots and he's going to get around the corner and back. And now Zebo's sort of stranded at resupply, Rising will finish him. And I think BK are still going to opt for the forward hold even with Zebo down. So they're going to keep trying to keep the pressure on, try and uh, buy the time back to get an uber advantage and that pick on Rising is going to help. And now Zappos has gone for a counter pick all over Mirren, Mirren's down to 30 HP. Uh, Zappos wanted to turn that pick, so we're on opportunity to go. And now they're just going to back all the way up main call dots here to get Merlin health in the house. And just going to give BK and Nutson enough time to get Uber. And with that, they're just going to pull back to last where they feel a bit more comfortable. Surprised they stayed forward in lobby for so long, but they probably got the call from Zappist that, uh, that main call were falling back a little ways. 
But yeah, just gonna be a standard last on Zebasai on Spy. I'm not sure where he is, if he just spawned or what's going on. He's on balcony right now, just narrowly dodges a soldier, but he's actually ne he's negotiated a position behind them now. They don't know about him, so just the pick could be on. No, he's been spied. Oh, yeah, they're gonna chase him down. He's gonna have to uncloak in trash, walk into a circle. Uh, he actually gets on Merlin, gets Merlin down to 30 HP, I know. That was quite close. That was surprisingly close for how um, caught out he looked a bit. Mike seems like a lot of damage down main, and they're gonna try and chase that, but Mike's already quite far back. Gonna get some health uh, health pack, get some heals from his medic. And now I think we're just gonna walk in. Mike just walks into a pipe, he gets dropped by Merlin. I don't know why he just didn't wait to be a little bit more healed up. We're gonna get the counter pop out now, but surely AMS can chase a little bit of this. He's got just over half an Uber to chase with. He's gonna chase the scout down main, he's gonna chase for Sulfur as well. They've got quite a lot of frags here. And we're gonna keep moving forward. There is a scout trying to focus down AMS though. AMS is gonna get Merlin with some nice rockets. Rip's still doing work though, but he needs some heals to keep himself in it. They have got the scout cap in this time, and now Zappos is going to arrive. But there's a soldier on nuts, and he's going to go down. Nice work from Riv. There is a double scout flank coming in, though. I don't know if they know about it. They're going to get onto Nutson. Zappos gets Brock. It's in Nutson's down to half health, 40 health, 20 health. He will be defended, though, and it's only Ips uh, respawning for main call TF. With all these pushes out from last that BK are doing, I don't think I've seen one legitimate attempt for a back cap from main call. Like, the amount no. of long-winded like push-outs from last VK have done, if they were just coordinating some backup attempts, I'm pretty sure they'd have this game in the bag already. Imagine so, if maincool.tf had Greg. Well, yeah. It's, but, it's, it'd be 8-3 by now. <laughs> you know, Kyler with the, the famous back cap in the I-52 Grand Final that only round Epsilon took. I think they need some of that here at the moment, because it could really it could seal the game for them if they just coordinated these things. Yeah, I mean, we've kind of lost track of time a bit. There's only just under three minutes left. And BK are obviously around down. They need to make this push work. Mike's trying to prevent him a lot of, uh, from balcony, but they're losing the flank, rising and cut down. Nutson's going to be forced to pop in a kind of bad situation. AMS is Mike's going to try and chase, but I don't, wouldn't really recommend going that much further with this. They will get Spire for free, but Merlin has 100% Uber advantage. They have five players up, and all they need to do is hold on. It's tense, man. Yeah, they're coming in. Scout's going to try and force the Uber. They force the Uber. They just need to keep people alive now. They're going to chase people down main. Ips gets uh, both of people on main. That's uh, two kills. Ips is going to go really deep for Nutson as well. He gets one rocket on him, two rockets on him. Mike's lining up a sticky smoke. He jumps forward. But as he overextended here, my game freezes as both demos are on really low HP. Um, Mike took down the Mike's going to... Mike's going to... It's gone. Gone, gone. CX is gone, gone. Okay, either way, we're resetting on mid now. Uh, BK with the Uber advantage. They're definitely going to want to fast. They only have a minute and a half left to tie this game up. Happy building like a mofo on mid. Not sure what decision they're going to make. Uh, where are Minkle? Minkle holding on Stonebridge, expecting a reset push, it looks like. Prepared for anything. Looks like they're just going to try and concede this fire and go back to last. Just get a force out. The push is coming from reset right now. BK trying to. Trying to go through quickly, trying to hold on to the Uber. Take down Rising. Looks like they're going to get the Spire cleanly. They're taking Spy for free, maybe. Pushing on to lobby. Mike goes down. Merlin goes down. Oh my god, they could actually do this. They have one minute. They have two scouts on the Spy. It's all up to Ips. Ips goes down. There's only two alive. This could be it. I'm trying to find the players. Sam's on last. Kyla's on lower left. They need to go. They can go here. They can do it. Rip sticking in the point. This should be it. Go, go. Get on the point. Get on the point, little scout. He doesn't. He dies. It's not going to happen. They're going to have to reset. They to have just about enough time to wait for Uber, but I don't think that's what they're going to want to do. I think they're just going to go for it. Maybe. CX, where are you, man? This is too tense. I don't know what's going on with CX? I can hear him. <laughs> He's not speaking. He's a yeah. So it's 20 seconds now. They're coming in top right. They've not waited for Uber. They've waited a long time. So is it too late? I think it might be too late. They get some presence on the point. They're all on the point. They're spamming. I don't know what's going on. I can't see. They're all dying. Nah, they're not going to do it. Uh, unlucky. Nice try. GG. He who cannot do play-by-play -play left to do play-by-play -play in the most tense of the moment of the game. Well, I'm glad it all worked out like this. But yeah, that was a close one. Um, uh, I really think... They had it, man. They had it when they transitioned from Spire to last. They should have. It should have been a clean, like push from Spire to last before all the respawns came in. They allowed it to reset to 6 versus 6. And I don't think that's what they should have done. I think they should have just kept it going while it was messy because it's it's very hard to push last. Like, push it that fast when you don't have like a clean entry and 6v6, heavies, pyros, whatever the classes they used in the end. I think it would have been better just to get him while it was messy. It would have been risky, but there was no way that couldn't have been risky. 
So 3-2 yeah, is the final score. I don't know what the drop count was, because I don't have... I can get the logs in a moment, maybe, though. Uh, do I have the logs? No, I don't have the logs. David, give me the logs. I've got the logs. Um, the drop count, for all you wondering, is... Two drops to Knutson, one drop to Merlin for a grand total of three. So if I remember correctly, the way this competition works is uh, whoever gets three drops is going to get their share of some keys or something like that. I only came, came back just in time to hear about this, so not 100% sure. When CX is back, he will fill you in on that. But just looking at the logs, Mike top damaging, uh, followed by Ips quite comfortably as well. Like There's a thousand damage or so in it, both above Rib, who had 8.7. Um, and yeah, definitely would appreciate some company. I'm here all alone. Hello, Ryu. Uh, hello, hello. I'm here till I've been called in at short notice until the CX gets back. So oh, okay. Thank God for that. Me, if someone could give me the info, I could. I, I would appreciate it. I'm just glad you're here to bail me out, man. Yes, I'm in way over, in way over my head. I, I can shout at I can shout at the screen for you. Don't worry. Oh, Stark's here as well. You're all here to save me. Well, well, uh, we're here now, don't worry, don't worry, I don't know what's going on, I need information, I, I, need, I, I don't even know what server we're on. Uh, well, we're between maps right now, so there's no ah, big rush. No worries then, no worries. Uh, main call just took the first map, 3-2, to two. it was a nail buyer at the end, info is in Bumble for you. Yeah, I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was watching the game, it was really, really good, it looked fantastic. Um, so close at the end though, that was yep. amazing. Uh, CX timed out at just the wrong moment. Yeah, he did. Unfortunate. <laughs> Unlucky for him. Yeah, I really thought I really thought BK would get it, but just not quite able to in the end. It looks like the next map's gonna be Viaduct. The server has definitely changed to Viaduct. Um, so I'm gonna assume it's Viaduct, which will be interesting to see, because I don't think either of the team will have practiced this this much. This is BK's pick. I can understand why they picked it, because um Minkle don't really have an established sniper, like both Kyler and Sam are okay. They can snipe, they're good, but uh, they don't have someone that you'd really expect to see on Sniper for long periods of time, just the odd switch off to get a pick. So I think we can expect to see BK playing a lot around this Sniper in this upcoming map. Well, yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, who, who, who would you say was the better Sniper out of Zebo and Herpy? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Like, You see Zebo snipe more for this team, because he's the, he's the scout that tends to play more on the flank. He's like the more disposable scout for them. Like Herpy is the stable rock who's always around and ready to help Rib and uh, uh, Knutson. So I expect to see Zebo snipe more than Happy, but it, in this map it can sometimes just be who spawns at the most convenient time to go sniper when you need it. So I wouldn't be surprised to see both of them doing it, and if one of them is having a particularly hot day, as Happy tends to do sometimes, it could be either one of them. Yeah, okay, fair enough then. What about um, spies as well? I know Zebo really likes playing the spies, so we can get a lot of off-classes, I, 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 I would suspect, from this, from this uh, map. Should be good. Yeah, Zebo already getting in the hours for the off class of the season award. He's had his eye on it for a while. <laughs> season hasn't even started. He's played more classes than most people in the uh, in in this invitational, from what I've yep. seen. He's got to get that practice in early, man. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, how are Mankle looking? I know Wars just turned off. I've just seen him in stream in uh, stream in Twitch chat. Uh, do you think he's going to be subbing in for Mike or? Um. I think they decided to use uh, Mike for the rest of the day just because he's been playing with them all day. He's warm. He's given them his time to help them out today, so they're giving him the chance to play the final with them. It's just, I guess, fairness in their eyes. I'm sure Mike's played enough finals to not really mind, but that's the decision they took in the end. Uh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Much better having a demo who's warmed up than someone who's just sort of coming cold. Especially on Vida as well. Demo is going to be so important. Both War and Mike are pretty heavy DM demos as well. Yeah, they're quite um, a decent match, like, well, quite a decent uh, replacement, replacement for each other. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. How do you think in terms of um, the uh, some of the, the the new blood in AMS, how do you think he's going to hold up as well on this map? He he seems to be pretty DM heavy as an, an, an MGE lord, so... He should do of... okay in team fights. he should do okay, but I mean, there's going to be a lot of responsibility on his shoulders as well in kind of managing the Ubers and this sort of thing. So, um, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see how hand was that. His DM is definitely up to the task, but he's also going to have to control a lot more of the game than he probably has to on other maps. So, we'll see how that goes. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, I'm not quite certain. I've, I've, I've just sort of come in, I, I wasn't really concentrating much on the, on the cast, and then I've just sort of come in, so apologies if I seem a little strange and asking strange questions. Uh, I wasn't really quite okay. ready looks for like this. We, looks like we are live now. Hello. Uh, Hello? 
Right, right, so we just my computer with a fucking crash and blue screen. We're just going live on Viaduct. Okay. Yeah, make all coming out strong. They get four frags immediately. BK already taken down six, so you can take over as soon as you get back in. But I'll just uh, keep play by playing for the moment. Make all take the first early middle rib, even getting caught out right there at the end uh, by a nice pipe from Mike. So that's going to be really bad for him. He's going to have a terrible spawn, and it might even prompt BK to to, to to wait a little bit before they send the spawn wave. Although they do pick up Rising there. Pretty good middle there, Cadis. I, I don't know if you're watching too much. Um, I am watching too much of what Mike was doing. Yeah, the drill in my room has. Uh, recommenced, so I'm a little bit out of the way at times here. Okay, well, uh, frags are happening all around. Four point Zebasai is going to be taken down, but so does Kyler. So BK trying to get in, they're, they're strong arming beat, uh, Rib in as much as possible. He gets launched back, and the Uber does get forced out of him, but it's in not a particularly good position, and they multi it a lot. Mankle's Uber does come on, it's onto Ips now. They're going to surely catch out Knutson. Yeah, he's down. AMS down as well on the back foot by Smiley. And now BK, they lose three players and they have to back out. Zebasai's picked up that sniper rifle. Can he see if he can get anything done with it? Doesn't look like he's in any position. He has backed out onto their onto their spawn. So now main call, they have the point. They're comfortable. They've got a good minute and probably a minute and a half out of this out now. So they're in a comfortable position. I think, they, I, think, back. I think they'll slow it down now. This is a strategy Zebasai's always like to play. Just a slow push with the sniper, like keeping the heels on the sniper and the combo will base around the sniper. But they are actually jumping a soldier I didn't expect to see. I thought they would just play snipes here. Um, they're trying to push, but I don't think this is going to work. They lose one already. There's another soldier in who's getting weak. Both soldiers down. Rib needs to get out of there. Does trade with Mike, though. Not trade. He just picks Mike. But he needs to live. If it's going to mean anything, he doesn't. He dies. I'm not sure exactly what they're trying to manufacture here. Nutsin goes down. I don't know if this was a play for a force or just a non-Uber push, but it definitely didn't work as um, Mike will maintain control of the point and maintain 100% Uber. So it's just going to be... A reset now. Um, Zebasai is still on sniper, so it'll be interesting to see if he stays on that or if he's gonna try and call for a suicide of some sort. Well, Maryland didn't even have it at that point. He's literally just got it as the push faded, so it must have been just a push then, because they, they, they would have known that he didn't have the Uber. Zebasai is yeah. now edging his way around the corner, trying to see what he can find. He's gonna run into a scout, get shut down, Zebasai's down, so there's no sniper threat now for a main call. In jumps the soldier of MS, manages to kill himself. Zappis goes in as well, gets piped by Mike, and. These, these, these um, suicide waves just aren't working for BK. It was very close. Merlin was down to 20 there, but yeah, it didn't quite come off like you said. Um, yeah, they need to think about it really because it's only 40 seconds left on the clock now. They haven't got a single second on the cap, so this is looking a bit dismal for them right now. Um, yeah, main call just sitting, sitting pretty on the point. And um, BK, once again, they, they're coming up this right hand side. They've, they've, they've brought the medic out with them. Knutson is once again, they're looking to just sort of slow push this, but the aggression from Main Call is really sort of holding them back. They don't really want to get in too far. In goes AMS now. He's trying to get aggressive. The Uber does get popped out from Knutson, but it's immediately answered by Mirilin, who forces that out. And BK have lost three players now, and maybe even they're going to lose AMS here. He's still in on the point. Mir uh, Knutson leaves him behind and backs out. So it's, it's, not, it's not looking good for BK. They, that was a complete They don't even get out. any time. Oh my god, that was an absolutely god-awful round from BK. I mean, it was well played by main call, but they didn't really have to do a whole lot. It was just really poor play from BK, I think, more than anything else. As we do go to the second middle, take us away, Ryushi. Yeah, Rib coming up strong on that hill, trying to see what he can do, get as much damage out as possible. Um, but main call, they're all here. They're, they're now starting. They've BK do have the high ground, and they in jumps Soldier onto that left-hand side. Going to look for a pick. He does find Rising. Ips follows him. But he is not going to be able to do much. He, I say that, he, they do take down Zebo and AMS, so that's two down for each team right now as Kyler gets picked up. So BK, they look to posture. They do pick up Samzi, and now Mankful are having to back out. They've got a scout in behind them, that's Herpy. He gets bottle fragged by Mike. But BK have the point. They can get some heals on. Just need to dodge this spam. Here comes Mike, gets, takes a nice rocket as he tries to jump. Misses, gets... Dodges the air shot from Zappis, and now Zappis is actually really low. He accidentally kills himself. In comes Zebasai, tries to get onto Mirlin, but doesn't manage to get him. Mirlin on 29 health with that Uber. Rib has now respawned, and BK have got some spawns on the point. They've got the point. They've got the point presence. They have an Uber, but they don't really want to pop it out in this terrible position that they're in right now. Um, looks like they're trying to contest anyway. AMS has been juggled sky high. This is not looking like a good Uber. Mirlin is able to pop a lot later as Blue Team are just trying to scatter now and make it like. Make sure it doesn't get any worse, but AMS is still in, he might be able to get Mirrolin, he doesn't, really close, but unfortunately not to be on this occasion, as we see another horrible, horrible exchange for BK, they're going to have to completely start from ground zero again, they had the cap for 31 seconds, which is 31 seconds better than the previous round, but 
Yeah, really not looking too good for them again as they have to start from scratch. Uh, probably just going to go for the push straight away, some kind of slow push. Uh, as Merlin still hasn't got an Uber up, it's only on 50%, so plenty of time to work with. Yeah, they're coming in straight up from that right hand side. They lose AMS on entry to a sticky trap though. Trying to get some time on the point. Zeposai go down on the flank. They, 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 they seem to be crumbling. They take two now actually. This could be good. No, in, in comes the, the damage from Ips and Mike and Chris and the river down. Zappis and Herpy, the only ones left alive. Zappis, creators, and I don't even know where Herpy is. Was he even on the point? I don't even know if he was a part of that push. Herpy, I think, kind of got the memo that it was going back quite early and just backed up. AMS is a respawner and... Uh, Mirrorland with 100%. I'm not sure, are they going to suicide? Nutson's, Nutson's going back, yeah. I don't think Nutson's going to commit to this. Although, he seems to be wanting to, He's coming out a little way. Maybe he's just, yeah, he's fainting and going back. The bomb's coming in, going for the force. They do get some damage onto Mirrorland. He's going to have to pop. They do get him to pop, so this is nice. It's better than last time. They need to die fast now, not get their respawn waves too late. So not too bad, only 9 seconds on most of their clocks. But, yeah. Only 50% built, so they're not really. In a, they're going to have to sit around and twiddle their thumbs a little bit. They're, they'll start to push out, but they need to be careful because Rising is up. He's going to be looking to uh, go for a pick, I think, early. I but made it they in. Think... Oh, there we go. Hello. Thanks Very for awesome. covering, Ryushi. Yeah, I finally made it in. My computer decided didn't want a blue screen all night, so now we're going to see BK moving in with their Reaper advantages. 90%. Going to be leading the way, AMS is coming around the corner, forcing them back, but he takes a big old uh, uh, body shot there, and he's going to be forced back. Uh, they're going to keep going aggressive, Uber will be popped, they should get this soldier down, uh, but they've not got a whole lot of other frags, and they can't really chase too much more, as main call .cf have just backed off quite far away. Um, they've got the point back, but they've got a whole lot of time to whittle away before they even equal with main call .cf. Yeah, I'm surprised why main call TF there. They gave it up very easily, let them onto the point with only about 80%. Um, managed to get the force out in the end, but I think they could have put up a lot more resistance had they known the uber percentages. As they come back in now, uh, do uh, main call from bottom right. Trying to get in without popping, trying to go as deep as possible, but it looks like I think they're going to have to pop if they want to go any further. Mike's calling for it. Yeah, they, they do uber. This is looking better for BK than normal. Normally they're completely committed still, but Rib probably going to go down. Oh, Knutson's actually really deep. Where the hell's Knutson? He's going to make it out, but I don't know where the hell he was. I, I couldn't see him anywhere. I thought he was gone, but... He was on Cliff. He oh my for, god. He played that whole fight on Cliff. He dodged Mike. He dodged the soldier bomb as well, and he just got away with it. And now they're going to re-push at uh, 90%, but everyone's so low. Um, but just back in the head. No, Knutson's going to go down. Samzy comes from behind, makes a crucial play. And now BK are going to be forced to go with a hot, not a lot of hits. We're going to try and get down onto this scout, but Samzy hunts him down. Merlin's in the air. They're going to pressure him, and the scout arrives, and P and AMS are going to get a frag. A piece. AMS is going to be stuck on 2 HP, have to go down. And they will get the point back here, but they've still got a whole lot of time to work off it. Nuts is going to arrive now, providing them with some heals, and they might, BK might be able to stabilize now. Yeah, this isn't. This is like all in all, this is a much better round than the. Oh my god, than the first round that we saw. Things were being destroyed behind me, as my room gets refurnished. Um, but yeah, like the first round, not not very good for BK. So they'll be happy with how this has gone so far. As the times are, one minute fifteen remaining for BK, thirty six remaining for Mainkul. BK currently in possession of the point as uh, Mainkul begins to poke on the left. Mike's in. Ips is in. Ips is probably going to go down. We we'll have to fall out. And they're just kind of, I'm not really sure what they're trying to achieve here. They're just kind of trading frags, trading bodies, spamming. No one really doing anything with a particular purpose. Yeah, they just seem to be content to, I don't know, just try and hold it in here until they have Eva. Uh, Eva might be forced now. They're going to pop onto him and Murray's oh, actually going to cause out and go down. Soldier's going to be chased out, surely going to crater as well. Did he land on a health back? He survived. But now we've got both scouts from Madoma Man up with Nutson on this. We're going to go aggressive for Nutson. Nutson's quite far forward. He's going to take one rocket. Surf it away, he'll be rising and Sam go down. Um, that's just what they needed, and that time difference was looking pretty huge not so long ago, and now they've just overtaken main call.tf's time, and there's only 20 seconds left. Uh, they're going to keep going in. Zappas hits one hit shot. Zappas has made the switch up to Sniper. There's going to make it as input. Zappas has domed, and, but this is getting harder and harder for main call.tf by the second. Oh god, Rip's this is a car take crash. One. Oh, the soldiers 4 HP, the scouts 11 HP, Zappis aims for body shot, uh, Ips calls good round, BK tied up 1-1, one to one, and I think that's really important because yep. if mainGoogle.tf won that, it literally means they've got three attempts at game, like at match point, like yep. tournament point, whereas now BK are back on equal footing, they only need to do that two more times and they take it to a third map. Um, so here we go on the next mid.
Uh, looks like Zap's just going to keep it on Sniper right now after those uh, big shots early on uh, at the end of that last round. But just trading spam so far. Neither soldier really going that aggressive. Obviously, only one soldier up for BK. And it looks like Mangle.tf are going to try and stack the flank, force that Sniper out. They're all coming forward as one. Zebesai goes down. Rib still fighting. Nutsing goes down. Um, they're all getting pinned back here. It's not the worst trade. Zappers is still trying to peek for a shot, but he's going to get a lot of pressure on it now. Here comes the soldier. Button. He's going to get one. He's going to get a lot of damage, actually. He's not even going to get a frag. Just damage there from AMS. Uh, bit of a weird choice of target. I don't think he knew where Muradin was. Cause he didn't shoot it for him. Uh, but really passive mid for BK, and it's cost him pretty heavily. Yeah, they didn't punish enough. Um... Like the advancements for Minko was quite slow. They had to really like focus down these guys on the left. There's one guy jumping on the left, one guy jumping on the right, both isolated. Um, but then they just ended up having separate one v ones on either flank, and then the rest of the team just followed over. So when you have like a sniper, and then one guy one v one on either side. There's only two guys left to actually stop an entire onslaught. As uh, BK are we contesting here, Merlin? It's the really suicide back. wave. Yeah, it's the suicide wave. He's going to have some pop potential. Uh, yes, uh, I've played this game clean before. Up everything. They don't get any other frags, but they do get the pop. Merlin tried to put in as much distance as he possibly could between his team, uh, between the enemy team, enemy bombers, uh, but they still made it all the way. Pretty nice from the, um, from AMS, Rib, and who's everyone? Sapis just sort of syncing up their jumps, going at different, like not quite at different times, but just going different directions and causing distractions to for them to eventually get through. And now actually, Nutsen's going to get pop. That Uber advantage getting taken out pretty early on. Uh, from by Rising. They're going to keep going pretty deep. I don't know if this is a wise decision, but uh, Merlin's still on 40 HP, dancing at the top. I don't think anyone knows where he is, though, but Zappos is going to turn around and see him, going to finish him off. Uh, Maincall.tf didn't seem ready for that at all, and they've just been absolutely crushed here. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> yes, that's right, Kaders. Maincall.tf did get a drilling right there. And now they're going to be stuck with uber disadvantage and no point control. And it looks like a forward hold. Uh, both soldiers on that left hand side. The soldier's going to jump through. He gets through pretty much through. He's going to chase nuts up down. He will get killed off. But that costs uh, three for them. And actually, Kyler's got behind. He's going to fight. Try and get on the medic. AMS will clear him up as well. And Kyler goes down. Now it's just Samsi and Merlin building. It was sort of a suicide wave against the forward spawn, but it didn't get anything. They are without Zebesai, so this forward hold might be somewhat compromised. Mike's going to try and jump through, but they get absolutely stuffed at the door here. Uh, Nut Zappers and AMS with one each. And I'm not sure he said this already, but Ips is on spy at the moment. Oh, is he? No, I have yeah, not. He's right he's behind, right behind Nuts, and Nutson's not checking. He's oh, not he's checking. Doomed. He's fucked. Oh, Ips, this is a step! Missed. What a beef! Missed. Oh, what a beef! Oh, my God! It was literally... It couldn't have been more on a plate. If not, if Nutson had just pressed a kill bind, it's the only way it could be more of on a plate. Oh, uh, everyone knows Nutson's had a bad back for years, and he just presented it to Ips. <laughs> didn't take anything for it, though. Oh, wow. Um, Ips confirms in chat, we're on the floor laughing, I'm so bad. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. So now it's equal Ubers. Ips with that completely missed opportunity. Uh, and through all of this, they've actually started to get it out. Now Nutson may actually be popped. Uh, they are indeed. The Uber exchange has happened. Nutson's going to save his soldiers. They're going to jump around. Mike's going to get picked off. Nice work from AM. And uh, Zappis wants to go super deep. Uh, but actually only forces a 2 for 1 trade with Ips. There's now a soldier coming in as well. Nutson's down to 20 HP. The scouts are going to come. The scouts have sandwiched them here. And Mangle.tf have uh, sort of shoehorned a wipe there. I don't know if BK just got a little bit too hungry to chase him down. When really, you know, after forcing him to Uber out, they could have just backed off, regrouped on mid, and just got a little bit more ground control rather than just trying to DM it at the door. Yeah, definitely a misstep of some description. Uh, Merlin again taking his posture on the cliff side. I'm not sure. I expect BK just to slow push. They have a sniper in the form of Zapis again. Um, so yeah, I think they're just going to play this slow game where they work the sniper. AMS taking position up on the left rock, but I think it's all about the sniper here. But I don't actually know where is Zapis. Where is he playing from? Uh, Bottom just right. From, yeah, below China. Just below the cliff. Yeah. Now they're just playing it slow. They actually catch out Ips going aggressive. And they're just going to try and make some more room for Zapis. Um, but in comes AMS, huge air shot, wow, and again, and he gets uh, Merlin really low as well. Uh, Mike got absolutely totaled there. Um, and it forces Bankle TF really far back, and BK are going to claim the point. Yep, they know nice. that a slight advantage are taking up a nice defensive position as well. I was worried that Merlin's Uber might come into the equation there, um, worried for BK that is, because, um, yeah, they had gotten away from them a little bit, but that jump from AMS just made Merlin too far away to be able to build and push with the rest of it. They're coming in now with an even Uber trade, but... Frags being traded. 
Rib did a lot of work with that Uber, got a nicer pop up, and now we're going to chase down Mike. Mike is getting isolated from his Ubers so often, Merlin just can't keep both him and Ips up. But now Nutson's too far forward, and Ips and Rising are just going to pounce and punish them about as hard as they can. AMS is trying to fight the soldier, but Rising's going to come back and save him, and really nice work from the German soldier duo. Did Merlin live through this, or did he die? He lived. I don't know, yeah, it's, make, it's really making a difference that Merlin's living at the end of these fights. Like, I mean, this could have been like a, a kind of weird scenario for um for Minkle if Merlin wasn't alive there, because half of them were H, half, some of them were half HP and things like this. But because Merlin's always alive, he can just get them back up to health, and they can just continue to hold like as wherever they want. Yeah. Whereas it's for just B back on him. Oh, sorry. I was yeah. gonna say for BK, often it's the case Nutson dies, even if they take the point, Nutson is dead, and they have to kind of rework everything and start from start from the beginning. Yeah, uh, Mike's going to get an early frag onto AMS. Ips is down the heavy, they know they just need to buy time, there's only 10 seconds left. Uh, Merlin's going to get dug, Zappis. Mike's going to get dug. Zappis is turning this around, but they still have a player disadvantage. They, they're completely surrounded right now. Zappis is of no use in this close range quarters. The time's about to tick down, they need to kill this soldier quickly. The point's being uncapped, they're coming forward. Ips is trying to buy the time, they need to stand another point. They will wipe Mankel and take the point. Mankel.tf have one chance right now, 20 seconds left on the clock. They need to get time on this point, and I don't want to sort of uh, put a down on it, but Nutson does have an Uber. All they, all they need to do um. is have Nutson be good at the game for once. Nutson just has to not drop right now, that's all he needs. Uh, nice bomb in from Zappis, they're going to drop on Nutson. Nutson pops, Any he kills. does not drop. Any kills, any kills will do. Any kills is kill good, the kill the scout. they've got kills. Um, three so far, and here we go, AMS comes. Team comps, just team, once. Comps. Yeah. team comps for mid. Yeah, team comps for mid. BK taking it two to one. Let's go see what they're thinking going into this third and maybe last mid. Just say sniping, 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 sniping. Let's do okay. the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go right. Like when you again. get one sub, you get the other one always. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we playing bottom right again. South left point. It took forty. Scout out. Scout out. Nice. So long left. Nice. I'm going one to left now. Get past the flank. Then I'll be left. left. Solid launch, point. Solid launch, Nice, we got that. Free. Solid launch. Demo's full, demo's full. Solid behind. Solid behind our rock, guys. He's not helped. I'll help. Demo going forward, Demo's full. Yeah, we need him, come on. Help us. Demo on the cliff. Our cliff. Nice point, I'm going cliff. I got it. He's down. Nice. Nice. I'm going cliff now. Medic on point. Let's play fag, let's play fag. Medic, pick one, I'm going to me. Did we kill the medic? Medic, very weak. Medic's in their house. Medic's in house. Scout, far left on me. I'm really weak. I got you, I got you. He's in. Medic down. Okay. Get, nice. nice. get a point. Never sniper. Let's all fag. Let's all fag. Let's all fag. Let's all fag. Don't die. Then my right side. Sabi's on run away from me. Oh, yeah. Nice. Down. Let's all fag now. Let's all fag now. I'm pushing the sniper. What is he? I'm not sure if it's appropriate if they call hold defensive, hold fag. Yeah, that's actually that. a hold that's been in every, pretty much every Zebo team. It's been in Broder, Dota, uh, <laughs> my team with him last season. It's just this cliff hold with um, <laughs> with the medic on the cliff, the sniper playing bottom right around them, and the demo playing just on the floor as you see now. This is like their classic hold. Every team Zebo side's ever had does this on Vita. There's actually a scout behind right now. I don't think they know, but they do know. They spotted yeah. him out on left side. Carlos is going to regroup, get out for free. Uh, I'm going to capitalize off it. And they are two down, but we do have Uber, and they want to play this aggressively. Nutson's going to surf a rocket footbird. Tyler's going to go down. AMS is going to try and go deeper, but he gets airsh. He's trying to hunt down this soldier, but he will get away. Um, they only get a couple of frags out of that, both scout, well, for scout and the sniper. And actually, AMS was thinking about going really deep, but now he's just going to get back. And Zebo's hiding in the house, he's going to go for the medic, drops on some Merlin, can't get any damage though, goes down really early. Uh, maybe an unnecessary solo play, and I think I hear Zappis on the sniper again. Uh, I hear him ring off a headshot, he's trying to pepper them down. Nutson doesn't have Uber, Merlin does, they're trying to get aggressive right now. The scout is flanking, Zap, Zap is going to be in trouble. Tyler takes him down. Uh, they're in a lot of trouble here, Rib goes down as well. I think BK just need to cut their losses and get back right now. Because Mankle.tf are all over the point, but their soldier's going to go in, gets air shot. Uh, AMS will go down. Zebaside takes Sam down, but there's really not a lot they can work with. I guess the trade's still good because of the spawn advantage. Yeah, the trade's okay, they're going to have Uber, like, by the time they get toward the fight, but I don't know, I don't think the trade's going to mean much, Sam's going to spawn. Um, yeah, I didn't really catch a whole lot of that as the drilling has uh, resumed, but um, it looks like there's some kind of forward hold from uh, from Minkle right now. Yeah, oh, uh, not coming to a it, though. lot of spam. Down to 40 HP scout side of Nutson's having to dance around very carefully right now, only on 50 health. Uh, he's got the health pack now, so now they can have more of a structured push. I think they're trying to get Zappis some space to get a headshot as well. 
Zavatar's just going to run into the soldier. He's going to go down. Merlin and Ipsco both to go down to low HP. But the Uber will save them and allow them to heal up a bit. And now Rib's going to get caught out. Rib just walks into it. Yeah. Misstep from Rib. Uh, Zaps is going to get one, but he can do with at least two or three more really to help this. And Assault Rising's all over him. Ips even on him. Uh, he's actually going to get baited into a fight with her P. And they've baited the scout here as well. Maybe they can turn us around, but there's a lot of presence there from Ankle Dots. And the pipes come in. But not enough of them connect. Mike only gets one, he doesn't get all of them. And BK just gonna have to reset. Yeah, it seems like BK seem very comfortable holding the point, but their push is uh this is reminding me of the first round at the moment where this push, like they push they don't get anything out of the pushes, like their combo just doesn't seem very effective in breaking through these chokes. They make all seem to be getting a lot of spam very early on the choke, they get a bad trade or bad like they get picked and then trade and they should be just be going back and having a reset, but often overextending in these moments. I think they should maybe consider going back to suicides because it seems to work better for them. Oh wow, nice air shot onto the soldier there. Aim is going to chase him back and finish him off. I think the difference is Zappis is on sniper for these push instead of soldier. And I think Zappis really gives them a lot more sort of, uh, a lot more width, a lot more space for everyone else. Makes AMS's bombs the secondary bomb and they're a lot more, um, he can get a lot more done with them. Uh, now we're going to see equal ubers. Ips is down. Uh, AMS is going to try and take it in. Mike's waiting just around the corner though. Mike's going to get headshot though. That could change a lot of things. Uber's going to come in. He forces it onto uh, AMS and we have this sort of high five of pockets again. Ips is going to chase down that scout. Set up that frag. He's now going to chase the player behind. Not sure if AMS should have gone behind. But, uh, they were going to regroup on the point but Rising comes in and crushes them. Zappi is going to die Merlin but a soldier's going pretty deep. Nutson is out of there. Needs to live. Nutson needs to live and needs to build. Zebo needs to not run away now. Yeah, good. He's coming back. <laughs> uh, this advantage is pretty much. I think this advantage push is going to have to. Is going to be make or break for them. Like like I say, their pushes are not good. They only seem to be able to push this point when they have a nice advantage to work with, which they should have here when they're going. in. looks like they're going to use the buff advantage rather than Uber. They're going. Looks like they want to move straight away while yeah. we're still down, just respawning. Only 20 seconds left, so they have to be quick about it. Which yep. either way, they do it. They're going to. Merlin's coming now. On. They're going to take that Sam. Nutson's really high in the air. He's not gonna <laughs> land on the not gonna land on the fence though and down he goes. Uh, they still have a player advantage, but Merlin has the hickles. They're gonna focus down this scout. Zappas takes down Mike. Uh, they focus down this scout as well, but Merlin got out of all of that and he's gonna have a pretty hefty Uber advantage as Nutson's gonna spawn in two seconds. And I think it should be all eyes on Zappas here. He's got to hit a nice headshot, um, really to prevent this push from getting going. Because they don't have time or heals for a forward hole, and main call have time just to regroup, rebuff, and go all together. Yep, <laughs> I'm still laughing about this nuts and surf. He was he so had close. It, he had it. He pressed. He pressed S. <laughs> and he was gonna land on the fence, and he just pressed S and it created. What's he doing? <laughs> he had it. Yes, his first tournament as medic, mate. Give him a break. Uh, oh, he played a whole season of Roy, didn't he? played a few games as medic while well, Dota changed the roster around. There we go. Uh, Rising's going to die early. That's going to have them. Merlin's trying to stay behind the rock. He's actually going to... Mike's going to get dropped as well, and they lose two people early on in this push. If they can keep numbers up, they can maybe punish maincool.tf. AMS is trying to buy time. Stuff's for dumb. I'm just going to get aggressive. He's going to get knocked behind. Scout's going to finish him off. They need to get on the point. They get on the point just in time, but maincool.tf are collapsing from them. Uh, it's just a DM fight right now. Uh, they're trying to finish them down, but there's a lot of players, uh, frags come in, there's not a lot of health on the point, and the respawns are coming in. Zebo's on 14 HP, if they cap this, they win. Zebo has to, uh, he gets one, now <laughs> that helps. But nice they're going to tie it up 2-2, two two. and this is the final deciding round. Uh, CP Viaduct, um, if maincall.tf win this, they win the whole thing. That is right, isn't it? They won the first map, I didn't miss that, is, that map. That is correct. Yep. <laughs> I'll try not to time out at the end of this map. Uh, so yeah, BK need to win this to stay in the tournament and take it to a third map. Here we come on the next middle. Soldiers both going aggressive all over Merlin. Merlin will go down early. Rib's trying to move across the point. He's got scout protection. Rib still has plenty of health. Nice rockets from Mips, but it might be too little too late. Only Kyler left. Nutson has survived untouched by the uh, players on main call. And they're going to get a nice strong start here. Yep, that was just nice. Like loads of room for Rib, loads of damage from Rib. I think <laughs> arguably BK could have come out of that a bit better than they did. A um, couple of like over aggressive players going a little bit too deep, but overall a nice mid for BK. Exactly what they needed after losing a round. Sam on sniper, Ips on spy. Ips oh with boy. Possibly for my comical. On crits. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, looks like they're just gonna go for a suicide bait. Sam gets one onto P. They're gonna send the soldier. Ah, uh, Zappis managed to get a headshot on Sam before Rising can reload a rocket and take him down. Uh, and they do hold on, but Ips has snuck behind him as spy. I don't know. I don't think they have any clue whatsoever right now. 
about this spy and I've been watching Knutson a little bit, being a medic myself. He does not look behind him turn very around, often at turn all. Turn around, Knutson, he sees he's him, he's healing! No, 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 he no. Him and turn back around! Oh, what a dribble. Oh my god. I... There's a still a crit to come in, don't forget. Uh, yep, yeah. uh, Sam's gonna hit another headshot, respawn and takes down Zebus up. Uh, Zap is still on Sniper, but he's got a lot of pressure on him and there's a scout behind. But Mankle.tf are pretty comfortable here, they're sort of grouped up, protecting Merlin, getting their healed. Uh, and just locking it down and just when it looked good for BK and nuts him with... I don't even know how to describe it. So now we have a weird situation that, that holding mid with crits, like I'm not sure if they wanted this or, or if they expected to have to use the crits to seal the deal, ca capping the point. But um, yeah, I don't really know what to make of this. I don't, I don't think BK are aware, they've had players near Maryland, but they don't seem to know. And going to die anyway, so they're still holding on to this crits. Like, I don't know, they can drop Merlin, like, they can Rips kill him if they want. Yeah, uh, he, I think they are. He's down to 5 HP, Merlin's gonna get away as well. Oh, that's just heartbreaking for any BK fans. Uh, Rib's coming. Rib's gonna launch him up in the air, he's down to 40 HP, he got a health pack. I think surely Merlin's... some of them, surely one of them has seen that it's crits now, though. Uh, they're gonna come in again, Merlin's already out of there, though. Uh, Herpy was there as well. Uh, I don't know what this is, uh, they seem to be lining up to die. Nutson's only on 10% as well, and this has cost him a whole lot of time, pretty much a whole minute here in the suicide waves, and I think they might be going again. Yeah, they're going again, uh, P's gonna stay and build, uh, they're gonna buff everyone up, and we're gonna get ready to go. Zappos is quite far forward in already. Uh, they're gonna start moving forward now, it looks like Zappos is gonna make his way, he gets, they all come in at the same time, Merlin surfs it back though, down to Nutsy. Uh, Rib trying to hit him with pipe, Scout's gonna come as well, Merlin's still dancing around, Zebsai kills uh, two people, but neither of them have a medic. They actually get three frags out of that in total. And Merlin is, of course, still on crits. He can't pop to save himself. He can only pop to, uh, you know, to make critical damage. And I yep. believe that Nutson's still on uh, regular Reba, isn't he? So, in a straight head-to-head -head battle, regular Reba beats crits. But Sam sniping now, got that big body shot out. He is on the cliff and he is going to be forced back. Uh, but they're coming in droves to defend him. And the crits comes out, but the Uber pop is good. They're going to chase people down. Here. They're going to chase them all the way back. They have to be careful not to overextend. Zebatai just turns around and gets the easy frag on Mike. That was a good decision. Yep, now they need was. some cap time. Uh, but there is still a player behind. I believe Rising's juking it out in a scout. And he will win the duel on 14 HP and get the health back. Rising's still behind. And they need to go deal with him. Merlin's, Merlin's changed back to Uber. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he didn't die, right? He, I don't think he, he died. Ever, crits, yeah, he used yeah. the crits and then turned around. Uh, Nuts is dead anyway, so oh, wow. none of it's actually going to matter. Because, yeah, uh, Sam gets the headshot onto Nuts. They're going to now try and go for Merlin. And they've been very unsuccessful with their plays onto Merlin so far. Uh, Zebo's trying to do what he can, but he's completely outnumbered, completely out health. Rib's trying to throw some um, <laughs> hopeful pipes over. Uh, P's going to get picked off as well. And Main Call TF are going to reclaim this point. And Merlin's back on standard Uber. Sam's still on Sniper. And... The question is, are they going to expect crits? Like, they might have seen that it's normal Uber again, but they're probably going to expect crits. They didn't, they didn't kill Merlin, and as far as Merlin knew, he was building a crits advantage, so it was actually very sneaky of him to change. Mm. I think what happened was he recognized he didn't build and would have lost the crits advantage because he got separated, so he just changed, but uh, I just don't know. I don't know, like, BK could be thinking anything at the moment about yeah. Merlin's Uber. Uh, the early trade, Rip's getting quite far forward. Uh, Sam gets a body shot onto Nutsum, but Zappos is going to return the favor onto uh, Merlin. He's still on the point as well, scout all over him, he's going to pull out the SMG, he's going to try and fight him down, but Zappos is still backing off, lands a body shot before he goes down. Ah, HP. There's so little HP on yeah, any of the main TF players, but there's no one there from BK, and they have 10 seconds to stay in this tournament oh, right now. They should now. get this point, they should get this point yeah. relatively comfortably. It's uh, all about how it happens spamming. There is still Samzy on Sniper, uh, they need to not, they lose Rip, they need to not lose too many people, they'll get Mike. Uh, they're trading quite heavily here, this isn't good for them. They need to just uh, stay alive, really. Zappas is going to go down. It's all up to AMS right now. He's on 30 HP. He's going to go down. Nutson needs a miracle. Uh, he's going to be forced out, and that could be it. GG's are called. Mankle.tf take it on 3 to 2. BK are out, and yeah, Mankle.tf, uh, the winners yep. of this opening tournament. Congrats, in this Mankle. TFTV Invitational. Uh, was well nice deserved. Yeah, Viaduct was good. Yeah, Badlands was good. You missed like uh, a really, really intense last minute of Badlands oh, really? when you timed out. Yeah, it was BK pushing to last with him, like 30 seconds left on the clock. Like they took Spire, killed Merlin, killed everyone, wiped them pretty much, and then just rushed last and couldn't quite pull it off to get the golden cap. Oh, thanks, desktop Ben. That's that's perfect. Yeah. And I had to had to manage it all by myself, man.
So, in back-to-back three twos, uh, main call dot tf take it, and I believe we'll be joined by the players. Play it. Nutson, Ips, P. <coughs> hey, hey, game delay one hour. One GG. Nuts. Yeah. Nice pause. Thanks. You had a golden cap too. <laughs> no, we just got DDoS all the time in our mumble. Do you oh, know how to get how DDoS is working? Right? Don't start uh, this me? again. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go. Okay. Well, he uh, just okay. asked me. Sorry. Yeah. Congratulations to Mainkill.tf. Um, three two on both maps. I timed out for the last like <laughs> three minutes of Badlands, oh. so I missed oh, like the tense finish. But Kadus informs me it was exciting. It was close. Um, yeah. And god awfully casted, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> It was very, in, very, very intense games. Really good, really fun to play. Lots of shouting from our side. That's a good game. <laughs> really? Yeah. We had yeah, this game like, finished on I mean, our last, right? Not, With like yeah. half of our people uh, being weak. Yeah. We basically... Yeah, I don't know. We missed a couple of shots. Might have taken it. But it was coin flip, that push. Yeah, I'm going to talk about the map I saw more of, uh, which was <laughs> Viaduct, sort of a complete picture. It seemed a lot of it really came down, ultimately, to Merlin be able to just juke a lot around. Like, I know we talk about it a lot, but like there was quite a few times where a full suicide wave would come in, or like Knutson would go down, so everyone on your team would go aggressive to try and get Merlin in response. And just Merlin would find a way to survive. Yeah, he's, he's so annoying to shoot at. Especially if you have shift aim. <laughs> yeah, to, me, to me, it just felt like we had a hard time to actually get some aggression sometimes. We play with the sniper, so we, of course you're going to be more passive. Mm. But they had a little bit smaller uber advantage a couple of times, so we needed kind of to be aggressive. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes it paid off, sometimes it didn't, so it's kind of 50-50 there. Who was your sniper? Like on mid? Sapis. Sapis. Was Sapis. Right? Ah, yeah. okay. I don't know, maybe you could have... I don't know if you needed more soldier aggression, maybe. Zebo could have swapped it up since Sapis was hitting a lot of stuff. I think the logs say he got 17 headshots. Yeah, I, I, I think like uh, in the mid fights, then took some too long actually. The headshots came too late. So, because mm. we wanted to be aggressive a little bit as as well, but we couldn't do that. So, I don't know. We'll see that on Source TV to be honest. Yo, I was on Spy behind Nutsen. I felt so uh, bad after missing oh three steps on him. Holy <laughs> shit. I felt yeah, like really the awesome. worst Highlander play in history. <laughs> Well, it was made up for because, like, we were literally we were watching the second time where you got Nutson, oh, okay. and I was like, I was saying like, Nutson doesn't always look behind that often. He's well, they won't be expecting the spy. He's not checking, and then you turn around Nutson, and, and yeah. we're like, oh, he's seen him. It's over. Yeah, I got buffed. And then <laughs> yeah, he yeah, just buffs him and turns back around and gets. He just buffs up. his pocket and then buffs his second pocket. And it's like, I was fucking yeah. standing and looking at you. That's the worst part. Like, hello, pocket number one. Hello, pocket number two. <laughs> I, I was uh -huh. just so out of it, the spirit killer, when he got you. I'm going to be so safe here with both my pockets either side of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hard to get fragged at that. Oh, no one actually played Lockjam, right? That's pretty... I don't think uh, so. We, yeah. <laughs> no one we kind to of wanted Lockjam. to go with... Oh, Ips, Ips, uh, the hands up. Do this here. Try to do this here. Read. <laughs> read. <laughs> what? Immune. Immune one. Nutson. Nutson, I'm proud of you. How are you? One of the top every shooter. Come play quite light. <laughs> You're hands down best yeah. sniper in, uh, in tribes. In tribes. tribes, best sniper. Just say it like that. Just best. Oh, he's not. Oh, yeah, he's not saying tribes. He's saying in Europe, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not saying Europe. Fuck oh, him. Okay. <laughs> saying world. He might do it. He's from Atlanta. So. so yeah, I can I agree. The battle and start was quite anticlimactic. Not soon. <laughs> well, can I tell you something? Can you Holy. imagine how I felt after going down, down on you? No, that's not <laughs> what I wanted to say. After having a go at you for being late, and then my fucking Mexicans don't show up. For <laughs> was it, was video it literally because Kyler was eating again? Dude, he was, yeah. he was eating dinner with his parents, and Sam's mom bumble crashed. That's actually crashed. a true story. Like the the main call, mumble was bugging out for me. Like it was the only mumble was like really laggy, and then we no, joined the, the team for friends one. Yeah. yeah, I had like I one not team for friends. Yeah, then we had to switch and it was just really messy. Yeah, yeah you're, 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 you're just having yes. fun, don't you? Okay. Yes, it's, it's, all about fun. it's all about fun, don't you? <laughs> Shut up! You <laughs> 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 idiot. <laughs> so how does uh. everyone feel going into like the actual, the main season now? I've not been keeping up, like do you, uh, Nutson, do you guys still have to play off to get into Prem? 
Uh, I fucking hope not, but yeah, we are yeah, yeah. actually. Uh, Fibbo asked We're playing for it. on Monday, apparently. We're You're playing, playing Coast, on Monday. And yeah. we stole their pocket, and then their scout got banned today. <laughs> so we see how that's going to go. Ah, solid, uh. solid strategy. So. Um, so I guess you're confident going into that. So is it just one game you have to play against these guys to... It's them so... and then probably... We're gonna have to play them, well, Cooler, and um, the Frenchies, I think, like the East. Oh no? Oh, we have to play the... someone. Um, we're gonna have two Deegan games at least. Yeah. Well, for the playoffs? Yeah. yeah. It's too, I don't think you have play... to play Cooler Master or whatever they're called. They're we're, gonna, we're gonna have two games. Oh, okay. We're gonna play Monday cool and then... Clan. And then oh, Cool Clan, play sorry. Yeah, Tuesday cool and Wednesday. Clan. Yeah, you have to play these guys. And okay. it should be... <laughs> You should win fairly convincingly. Hopefully, I would yeah, be yeah, yeah, I'd say it's, it's not gonna be not to sh call out anyone, but it's gonna be that hard. Basically, I know, I'd be surprised that we had to play was though. Amazing. Yeah, I guess we're just sort of sticking all the new teams into one collective. I think well, AMS is doing really good. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I was impressed. Is he with filling this. in good? I think he's really good. He's here, but he's, he's a bit deafened, like yeah. occasionally he's very he's a bit invisible, but that comes down to his experience, you know. Like he, Who? I don't Who are you think. Talking about? Ams? Ams? Yeah. yeah. Ams? Do you I say think Ams? Good, man. Yeah, I call him Ams because one guy in tribes was called Am, so I call him Ams, <laughs> and he was fine with yeah. it. I think he's really. He messaged me. We were talking that when you guys picked him up after only two maps, and he was so hyped. So I knew like if that kid gets himself so <laughs> hyped for playing a team, that it's going to be really good for him. I, mean, I like him. He's even calling sometimes. He's like having some ideas, and oh, yeah, that it's... is really, really good. Who's your caller? Me. So what's yeah, said he yeah. wanted? Yeah. Come on, let's bring it. No, I'm, I'm the main caller, guys. <laughs> home. You've got the senior name. I've been informed that that means you're captain. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. you got it. You got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I thought Sebo was captain. No, Ad this that is was not captain. Him. Admo P and me immediately. Is that for the captain? You're like, I knew it. <laughs> he's so proud. So let's. Uh, so obviously, congratulations. I didn't keep track of exactly what the prizes were, but I believe it's some kind of hardware again from TTE Sports. Headsets for Headsets. winners and fucking metal caps for second place, yo. Yo, I think the metal <laughs> really caps are sick. Those. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I think win, they're fucking sick. You should have thrown yeah, the nips. Did. <laughs> did you see my mm. map? Uh, I was to, thinking to about. Honest, I was guys. thinking about uh, trading them for like. Yeah, I say like, I have a headset. You have metal keys. <laughs> I actually, I might actually want that headset, but no, I heard not yeah, really no, Dude, one. you have to pay me the value <laughs> of this headset in metal caps, not five metal caps. That's not how it works. <laughs> Next oh, round, I'll come for the bag of metal try, caps. Though, not try. You learn trading from bar. Before we <laughs> move on to next season, uh, uh, everyone keeps asking me, Nutson, to ask you about that surf. Where... <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, where you're, oh. you're, I was like, oh, not so oh surfs away, all you used to do was land on a fence, and Kader says he was on your point of view, and you, you had it, like, all you had to do was just, you just had it, yeah, and then I you just pressed know. S. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew I had it too. And like, oh, what, what did I just do? I'm gonna die! So oh my god! <laughs> I even had to tab out so I could see it on the streaming. <laughs> that was just the highlight for me. Uh, <laughs> I was over you. So what happened? Uh, like, uh, I served a rocket and I had like 20 HP, and I was flying really high up on the cliff, and then I just needed to land on the fence and didn't oh, fall no. down. And I just missed the fence. I missed everything basically, <laughs> even the cliff. I missed the cliff too. <laughs> he, he so I died. Run. Otherwise, we would have had it. Even easier. Yeah. But no. Awesome moments, awesome moments. I, bl I, bl I blame the waiting though. I blame the waiting. waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's dinner ruined my surf. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> so, it's not like, you know what's mind boggling about this? Like, eating dinner and shit, it's all cool. <laughs> But there's three fucking hours to do it, and he decides to do it 15 minutes before the game. Like, that's what really but surprised But surely he doesn't get a choice, though, because it's his family, isn't it? Like, Yeah, dude, I guess. I get it. Like, he could be like, guys, I'm playing for a headset here. Please let me play video games. No, it's all cool. But yeah, so looking forward to next season, I guess, from your point of view, uh, Ips and Sam. Yeah. This has to give you confidence going forward. You've beaten every team you've played against. Um... And the only real, the only real close, close game was the last two maps against BK. Yeah. Everything else was pretty comfortable. Yeah, I want to play War though because it was very, it's different. I mean, it's just in it's someone that is not in your team playing with you, so you always end up getting thrown off your game by random yeah. shit that it, each one does. It felt like Mike tried to come with Ubers a lot more when you were you and Merlin yeah. were planning a solo Uber, and Mike just kind of got. 
kind of half went, then realised he's not getting in it, then kind of tried to back out. I think he did, like, like, he did really good. I don't think, my like, damage-wise or anything like this, it was a bit of, uh, like, that I had to change my game. Like, he did exactly as much mm. damage, I think, as War could do, but it's just, uh, it was just um, unusual, you know? And if mm. everything matters and you need to be in your zone hitting your shots, and then you feel like... Huh? War wouldn't be with you here. Oh shit! I have to care yeah. for Mike now. Like then, that's just weird. So I don't know. What I'm really looking forward now in the near future is just playing the new lot with Jam version against people. <laughs> really hyped yeah. for that. What week is it? Any tf to L? Um, I think it's late. Like is it in the middle or something. Oh. I don't really know. Wait, can uh, I, I get an official announcement, by the way? I'm sorry. Okay, Sony Black is our team manager. Since nobody really can be asked to get scrims and do like sign up do signups for cups and shit and we were really bad at this in the past so people have like the business to do with us or want anything from us they should contact him okay just like as we have 700 people listening maybe they someone is there that wants to deal with it <laughs> um so i guess you're confident yeah confident going yeah. to next season and reckon you will win yeah yeah and i think like uh this team rollerbladers they're going to be strong at the end of the season yeah, do you expect to play him again, sort of same sure. again at the end yeah, of the year? Yeah, they will get second place. We're off classing. What about the French though? Yeah, you're off classing. What the Fr yeah. French? Last couple of times the French Flippy played, tech. they weren't that good. Okay. But are they Obviously really that really active seen, though? Yeah, they are. Like, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Week, and yeah. Don't they have yeah. to go through the playoffs? No, they actually got sex for the thing. That's kind of funny. Of course we have to. I hate this game. Yeah, like, I hate this game. Really. Have to we can ask for it. I'm going to quit on Reddit. Really 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 I think you need to talk to maincore.tf's manager. Yeah. No, yeah I, think like, I think like it's going to be even like you said, you're off class and I get that. But like, it doesn't really matter if he's ever plays like uh, Scout or Soldier if he does exactly the same amount of damage. Really. <laughs> yeah. And uh, as we can see, Zap is just going gunboats to me and then he snipes, so. I mean, it'd maybe it's good. See. Maybe it's good taking you off roller nuts and maybe you're an upgrade for your team now. I think Zap is actually a better roamer than Skull. Yeah, Zap no. is yes. fucking it. Yeah, he's I think, really, I really think good. that as well. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's, it's kind of insane to watch him. He got like 10k every single game we play sometimes. Yeah. It's so... Airsoft too. Stuff. It's yeah. really nice to see AMS as well. Like someone like properly unknown. Like I think I don't really know much about him except for like <clears> mixes <throat> and stuff. And I look at ETF when he's not played above Div 3. He did yeah, a lot of my frag movies and yeah. infused frag sets and shit. Oh, he's gonna learn, be beast learn now. everything. He's yeah. ours now, bitch. <laughs> well, yeah. I doubt it. Well, you have to wait for like six months to get one frag video of me when he read the copy. I gave that up. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, like, I like seeing really it. I like that. That's. I think what we need is new people and new maps and shit like this. So. We have that in this team and with like Doctor and then let's chill and see. If we don't like Lockjam by the end of the season, by the way, if it turns out being bad, we can try and Sunshine next season. I'm up for that. Come that would be American oh, no. one. Oh, okay. Seems good find, though. I like that. Yeah, let's it's good now. Let's you not turn it into bridge? a map to no, Sunshine. Sure. Oh, okay. okay. I'm going to steal the old one. I wanted I'm... to play it now on the final because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he thinks he hosts for show now. If, if yeah, I'm for... here. <laughs> If it was for the new version, we probably have played Logia, but we haven't played the new version. Yeah, the new version has a bridge map, over We have mid. a win against the on, so... A win? Yeah. Win? Oh, you've well. never won against us, my friend. We, we have won against us. Oh, that's the Herpy. same as a win in my eyes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> if I <laughs> <play> that, <laughs> you mark that in your calendar, running to your parents, <laughs> and you're like, we won against the fucking main call of Germans. <laughs> I I He's got more than that on his fridge. It never yeah. happened! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, <laughs> let's wrap it up. Hey, we did the German. Shh. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I was going to say thank you to uh, TT Esports, Fackle thank Brigade, you. everyone else who was involved in the running, Sim for running all the, and John for running all the behind the scenes stuff, David for being on camera, everyone who Bye. went on stream too, Cadus for continuing to cast even though I crashed and he had drilling going on in the background half the time, all the teams who played, um, everyone who provided prizes and all that. Um, does anyone else, Kados, do you have any shout outs? Uh, no. Awesome. Shout out to the construction workers, aka my mom and my girlfriend, <laughs> for drilling <laughs> holes in my walls all the way during the cast. Oh, one more shout out for serveme.tf as well. Um, players, do you have anything? We'll start at the top. Sam? Ari. Uh, shout out to Richard. 
Shout out to Ari. Shout out to Sonny Black. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say Ari is the fucking shit. And shout out to Canfo. Just for doing all this shit. Why not shout out us. to everyone? Shout out to everyone. Shout yeah. out to Nuts. Wow. That's Thank nice. you. Safe card. Shout out to Astro. <laughs> for being so sexy. Jesus. Uh, one more shout out to Oh yeah, shout out to every player oh, in this tournament who actually got here on time every single time and not just the game. <laughs> that doesn't even imply your team. <laughs> We're at that point of the discussion again. Yeah, oh, God. We had we've gone cap. full circle, full circle. Arguing, about, <laughs> arguing about when you turn up to arguing. Remember when I said whoever wins the, wins the map decides? I mean, it starts all over again. This is what the season is going to be. Just yeah. No one even cares about the result, it's who turns up the most promptly. I know, I know what we should do. That's what this team needs, Let's have a fist fight. <laughs> the winner <laughs> wins. You get a bonus point in each after well if you're there on time. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. No. Oh my god. No nuts. Ten minutes or stop. Two. No, I uh, one more shout out. Shout out to Suo uh, for sorting out all the stuff and serveme.tf. And thank you to everyone who was watching. Uh, I think we hit like 1k viewers during the final. So shout out to that. And Team Fortress TV will be back with the full ETF2O season pretty soon. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.